Hello everyone and welcome to Roll for Puns, Legacy of Emeron, Session 13, uh, the magical number 13. Only fun things happen on that magical number. So, surprise, we're doing a surprise D&D &D stream that we didn't know we were doing yesterday. Woo! Um, so, as this is our... Our fun Legacy of Emeron campaign, and a lot of fun things happened last time. Kyle, what happened? Give People you, give died, a, man. Give us a recap. Did Kyle uh, die? Am I dead? Oh, there we go. We, we, I can hear now. Okay. All right. Uh, so, according to my notes, we headed north along the coast. Um, Marina can shelter us at night now. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. That's a thing. I'm glad I took note of that to remind people. Uh, let's see. We found our way to the ruins to try to find an item where the Doom Golem is. Found that it's um, resilient to non-magic uh, damage. One might say it doesn't do much of anything if I remember right. See, there was a lot of coffin in this um underground room that we found. Um, sarcophagus, uh, mostly. I believe it was. Mm -hmm. This more apt description. Uh, didn't find much in the site. Not that we really looked, but uh, came across a uh, mummy lore. I believe David mentioned it <laughs> being called. You know, we tried talking. Half the group is like, we should leave. And the priest, nah, man, I got this. And then died. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cole went out in a blaze of glory. Uh, left behind some members. Uh, both, uh... Oh, no, uh... Banpri did use his ancient dragon breath attack from his weapon after Marina rezzed him. With her... Kindness. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tina used her artifact to um try and obliterate some mummies. Mostly seated. Um and we left in a rush, trying to get out, I believe. I might have looked around for a few items, but I think we mostly just like, you know what, let's get out of here, find a place to rest. And we got the magical <laughs> item there that we still have to identify. Y you got you, you found the hoard and you took whatever gold you could carry. Um, right, right. There was a lot of gold. I didn't write down lots of gold. There, there was... Well, you mostly took the platinum. <laughs> yeah, it, it seemed reasonable. Um, You found a couple of items and uh, you, you took the uh, crown that had a gemstone in it from uh, the dead mummy lord uh uklak who who suffered a terrible fate and now it is the adventures of banpri marina tina and egg and egg <laughs> man we don't mean to egg you on but come on no we had enough of nick's puns last night now we got kyle <laughs> i'm out you can never have enough puns and roll for puns. I'm out. <laughs> I didn't Today, agree. Today, on Emerson Session 13, Marina will be played by Kyle. <laughs> I'm going to stab you with kindness. <laughs> I right. mean, are you wrong, though? If you like kindness, wait until I show you oh, mercy. Damn it. So, wait, we're, just, we're literally just uh, standing... So Out in the uh, forest right now, right? Yeah, you guys left... had you guys had left. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's, it's wriggling. You guys had left uh, after gathering what you could um, from the treasure hoard. Um, Tina carrying a very warm egg um, that is wiggling, yep. and you yeah, guys yeah. you guys just headed in a random direction and just sat. Somewhere. No, in... Tina did, and we didn't abandon Tina. Yeah. Pretty and much. You guys are currently just kind of sitting in the middle of the forest. I'm and... confused. Does everyone know that the egg is coal? No. No. We haven't said a word yet. You haven't even acknowledged that you were dead yet. 
I wasn't dead, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, if I remember right, you distinctly were told you know that you felt like you were being stitched back into Oh, yeah, I know. That doesn't mean yeah. I'm going to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> you think I would admit that I died? Please. <laughs> I don't know, Vantry's had a weird time lately. Vantry, are you okay? You kind of died. No. I was... you have 70 pounds of coins? I was just knocked what unconscious. What was that? It's a that, really large that is, egg you have there, by the that way. That is all the weight of coins that you currently have in oh. your inventory. <laughs> okay. It's like coin 70 weight. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I have 180 fucking pounds of coins. Yeah. You can carry more. Yeah, you can. I mean, so does Marina. I think she has uh, 160. 160 pounds. I basically, I went through all the coins you had, figured how much you could carry, and left a little bit of room to so when you find other things, but uh, you have a lot of platinum. Like, I've seen it. where to spend it. Well, you know, we never get, get out of there. Yes, look, we get out of there. I think in total, between all of you, there's 24,000 pieces of platinum. Is that enough to buy, like, a castle? Because, like, that'd be yes. on my to-do list. Yeah. That's enough to buy a country. Dear God. It I mean, on the country, but yeah. I mean, you killed a mummy lord who was an old ruler of sorts. Man, you looted it's... his loot. One might say he was a lord. <laughs> Anyways. I take yeah. some time to identify an arrow. Yeah, you no. guys you guys can do that at during the uh, long rest that you guys took. Um, so, Tina, that arrow. Uh, the potion instead. I uh, think I only have one free hour for the long rest. Potion. Okay. Um, so, the potion, you you take some time with it, and it is a potion of storm giant strength. <laughs> Can I do the exceptional scroll? Yeah, absolutely. And I think Banfrey has the crown. So do who I? wants to see anti that 29 strength for an hour? Yeah, I do have the crown. I'll identify the crown. All right. Uh, the exceptional scroll. Um, you take you take some time with it, and it is a scroll of anti-magic field. Ooh. And the gold crown. You take some time, and it is a crown of sealing the hell is that okay let me read this and we i'll trade the crown for this potion <laughs> okay i will tell them what this does <laughs> okay um should i just read the description yeah or tell it in your words uh ban pre would not be able to articulate this this crown has five gem-like slots engraved in it. When all five <coughs> gems are placed in the crown, it can be used to seal a single creature without fail. Once used to seal, it can't be used to seal any other creature. To undo the effects of the seal, the crown must be brought to the point of sealing and destroyed using an artifact of equal power. I'm assuming there's no gems in it right now. There is currently one gem in it. Oh, there's one it gem. It is an it. opal. Um, If I have any gems that fit in here, I will put them in. I... Uh... You notice that the uh, gem of the night that you've been holding on to yeah, fits that's what I right well into there. I will pop that in. Uh, okay. All right. So there is an opal and the gem of the night that is now in the uh, the crown. So. It looks like we're missing three counts on hands. <laughs> You'll have to take another hour to identify the opal if you want to. Uh, uh, yeah, I... that, that'll give me a chance to identify the arrow. Yeah. You only really need to sleep for six hours, so... Okay, then yeah. Yep. You can kind of sit there while kind of on watch and whatnot. Uh, so the opal is the gem of the sun. Okay. And the arrow 
uh, as you sit with it, is an arrow of dragon slain. I know a campaign that would be useful in. <laughs> I, I um uh, just take my staff. I just whack it there, open up a rift between dimensions, toss it into the other campaign. <laughs> also, here I toss it to. Here, here's an image of the sl the arrow. It looks Ooh, cool. Okay, that is awesome looking. It's a single arrow of dragon slain, which anybody who uses a bow and fires it um, at a dragon. If the dragon fails a, uh, has to make a uh, con, con save and takes an extra 60, 10 piercing damage or half on a, sa on a save. Oh. After it's been what, uh, used, it becomes a non-magical arrow. What dragon's going to fail a con save, though? You'd be surprised. You would be surprised. It's also a DC 17, so it's not the easiest thing to succeed at. Anyways, I put that back in my backpack to give to Cole later. I think I just Tina's thinking this is It's been a while. <laughs> I didn't write down all the notes and relevant things. We were so I think we were gonna head back to um Zephyr's house. Sure. I think. I'm not sure what you guys were planning on doing. Uh, it take a few days to head back to Zep's house. Said we're going to be at going at a slower speed. Since I believe it was Cole who had the yep. the orb of fast movement. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you guys are gonna head back yeah, to uh, Zephyr's. To head straight north. Are you going to head straight north, or are you going to go the path that you came? We'll probably do something like this, and then go up. Okay. Probably. Remember, uh, if you backtrack on uh, a path that you've already taken, you do move uh, quicker, since you're not hacking away at all the brush that's in your way. Um, what do you guys want to do, Nick, Kyle? Uh, I I honestly have no idea. Whatever would be quickest. Whatever would be quickest? Okay, back on the trail that we already took. Do I need to roll survival? Are we uh, distracted? No, um, because it's a path you've already taken... Um, you can clearly see the outline of the path you've walked, so it's pretty hard to get lost. It's a good thing we stomp that vegetation right down, make a road. <laughs> I was imagining Banpuri hacking away at it. Yeah, yeah. actually, now that you mentioned it. It's <laughs> like every tree branch in my way dies. All right. And we've so... had coal, so a little bit of scorch marks. <clears throat> yeah. So, first day goes by without any issues. So, as night comes, um, how how are the watches working now that there's only three of you? Well, we're still in well. my thing. Mm hmm. But. It's a good question. I forgot all about that. Uh. If we t uh, so we need to cover a total of eight hours. Yes. Yep. So if two of us take an extra hour on our watch and we spend two extra hours, that could work. Right? Yeah. So I would, uh, Tina, I, I would take an extra hour. Mine can be two hours long. That's fine. Tina would take an extra hour as well. Okay, that works. All right. She recognizes the lazy Marina. <laughs> she acknowledges it but doesn't care I love it <laughs> killing me over here <laughs> alright did that egg just talk <laughs> just kidding so... did it? it's been wiggling I don't think it's supposed to wiggle like that 
Every wiggles, and Tina just gets up with start. God, the omelet I'm gonna make out of that thing. Why can't we moving? So maybe as... it's hatching. <laughs> chicken? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire chicken. So as night falls, I'm gonna die by a fit by calling it a fire chicken. <laughs> Marina and uh, Tina drift off to sleep. Banpre takes the first watch. And uh, Nick, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal you for a moment. Oh God! All right. All right, how bad did I mess up? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Oh, God, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you sent me a message that you wanted to... Uh, yep. <laughs> you wanted to do the thing. All right. So, how far away from the others? Um... I would probably go a ways, at least until they're probably like, let's see, uh, let me think, probably towards like the edge of sight, like a ways, but if I needed to get back quickly, I could. Okay. Um, now, because of uh, Marina's Hearth of Moonlight and Shadows and stuff, once you leave the protected area, it is hard to find it again. Right, I forgot about that. So, <clears throat> I want you to keep uh, that in mind. Yep, that's that's <laughs> fine. All right. <clears throat> so, I'll just get lost and sleep out. <laughs> so, you head out. You probably go about 100, 150 feet. Mm. So, you're away, away from them. So, you take out the uh, black book you take out the uh, 10 pounds of herbs you've collected you take out the water the gems and what container are you using the one that I got from the mummy plates <laughs> alright I figured it was fitting <laughs> fair so you uh <clears throat> you read the book, you place down um everything off to the side and it instructs you to um use your blood to create a spell circle. Okay. You do so? Yep. All right. You just use your nail to kind of dig into your skin and just start uh making uh, a spell circle with your blood it goes out a bit and you start putting down the container you fill it with the water and the herbs you put down the four gems um, in the four cardinal directions on the spell circle <clears throat> with the preparation completed you know that there is a chant that needs to be said that will start the ritual and then you will need to use your claws to pierce your chest and pull yep. out your heart not looking forward to this <laughs> <laughs> all right so as as you start begin the chanting um the energies of the ley line start crackling and it, it's almost like electricity starts swirling in the air around you you reach a part of the chant that you know you're supposed to pierce your heart I I do it all right Give me uh, one moment. Okay. Because when it comes to ley line stuff. Yeah. <laughs> stay here for a moment. <clears throat> okay. I'm I'm already scared. <laughs> I think they're coming back. Hey Kyle. Yeah. I need you to roll me uh let's see, you're proficient in nature, right? Yeah. Roll uh -huh. me roll me a nature check. 
Inspiration? I just remember I had it. Go ahead. Oh, cool. I'll knock that off and then... All right. It's nature related. I need to do well. So you wake up um, in the middle of the night. You do not see Bampre nearby. And you feel um, a, like the ley line is crying out in pain. I... Can I... Is there a way for me to tell where this pain is coming from? I need you to roll a wisdom check to see if you can figure out by tra kind of connecting to the ley line to figure what? out where it Wait, your ability any... would not uh, okay. count into this as that's when you're trying to channel your magical energy. This is you trying to inspect well, the ley line. If I'm just I is it it's not trying to connect to the line at all. No, you're you're trying okay. instead of uh absorbing right. the ley lines magical energy. Damn, you're trying that to... six came back to haunt me. <laughs> yes, it did. <clears throat> you you try to uh read the ley line and figure out where this pain is coming from. You're you're unsure. It's either north or south of you, but you can't tell which direction. Do I, can I see where Banpree's foot are and where they lead? Make an investigation check. Not survival. Yeah, you know, I'll give you survival. No. <laughs> what? Banpree's gone. Banpree's gone. Find him. Banpree's gone. <laughs> Slaps her awake. Are you okay? 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 Are you sure he didn't just have to pee? Bring his footprints. I don't want to lock in on him peeing. Once again, she's gonna frankly was searching for his footprints again to see if okay. he can see if he went north or south. I will look for footprints. Okay. Go can ahead. I feel the ley line thing? Cause I do have some ley line abilities. I'm not as attuned as. Um, you're not as attuned, but I'll let you go ahead and make a wisdom check. Wisdom check? Yeah. And you, you'll, you'll, you're kind of getting guidance from Tina, but just to be able to make the check without disadvantage, since you haven't done much with the ley line yet. Nope. I'm just nope. waking up. Yep. <laughs> cool. I'm going to use my inspiration on looking for Banfrey's footprints. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> it's survival. Double nat one. Yep. Double map one. So you start looking for Banpree's footprints. It looks like his footprints went, uh, started going east. They're over here, Tina. Tina, why are you climbing a tree? I, I would be climbing a tree to see if I can get a better sense of the whale. <laughs> <laughs> Close, better. Closer is better. Okay, okay, he went and starts following the footprint. All right, so with all that, I'll be back in a moment. God damn it. <laughs> okay, Banpree. Yep, I was eating cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> as as it comes time, you plunge your, um, your, your claws deep into your chest. Mm-hmm. You pull out your heart, and it feels that the ley line energy from the spell is keeping you alive. Okay. As you... <clears throat> you're almost stunned for a moment as you see your own heart ripped out of yeah. your chest. Yeah, that would be <laughs> cause for concern. <laughs> but you quickly shake it off, and you put it in the uh, container. And... Okay continue reciting the uh, the chant after just a few seconds later the gems cling to the uh, jar and the lightning stops moving around in one last 
crash of lightning hits the uh, container. And you notice that it goes from being a decent size into a small object, a small, tiny object. Okay, so it shrinks? It shrinks into something that you can uh, fit in your hand. Okay, and it had to be lightning. (laughs) Yes. Okay. (laughs) So, the immediate effect that you feel um, is... uh, Where is it? There it is. Is that you feel that if you get hit by lightning, it wouldn't damage you at all. Okay. You've gotten immunity to lightning... And you have resistance to necrotic damage. Okay. You're immune to being frightened. And you notice that you are in your red form. You instantly shift back to blue. Okay. Um, due to this, you are no longer able to switch back into a red dragon form. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> and... <clears throat> You notice that your claws are, uh, you feel lightning coursing through them. Mm. Your claw attack is instead of a D4, now a 1D6, and it does an additional 1D6 lightning damage. Okay, cool. And uh, it didn't just kill me. Good to know. (laughs) On top of that, um, you know from reading the book that as long as your phylactery is not destroyed, your body will reform within five feet of it in 1d10 days if you were to die. Okay. That might come in handy for me. (laughs) So, and the last bit is you no longer suffer effects of exhaustion besides sixth level, which is death. But, you know, (laughs) you'll just reform, so. Yeah. That is, uh... That is the benefits of uh, turning into a dragon lich. All right. Is is the wound, like, obviously visible? <laughs> oh, the, uh, you look down after everything, and it closed up instantly. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> so. Right, I, I was worried. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to make your cl- the claws to a d6 with a d6 of lightning damage. And I'll have to do some other changes here in a moment, but we're going to move back to the other channel because <laughs> some of that was very obvious. So you're probably yeah. going to have some questions here soon. All right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. So okay. Marina. Oh, great. Nick is back. <laughs> I am. <laughs> He's back to listen yeah. to this next part. Um, Marina, you start following uh, Banpree's uh, footsteps after finally getting a hold on it. <laughs> onto it. Tina, you climbed a tree and started looking around to see where the ley line was uh, being hurt from. As you climb to the top of the tree, you see a large lightning strike off in the distance to the north. What I did you do? Way. Go that way with the coal egg. <clears throat> so you're gonna pick up uh, the egg and head that way? I'm not being alone. <laughs> Marina, do you chase after Tina and go towards the lightning strike? Oh. I don't know. Um. <laughs> She's debating. <laughs> Grandmother, I'm here to save you! What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you said it was a lightning strike? Yep. Now, I would have seen a lightning strike, right? Yes. It was clearly visible as it was probably the largest uh, lightning strike anyone's ever seen. And, yeah, okay, then I'm going after Tina because, one, I know that Banpri has had some weird lightning powers. Mm Mm-hmm. And two, that's definitely not normal, and Tina's decided to charge towards it. <laughs> Whereas Marina's still not entirely unconvinced Banpree is off peeing. Fair. 
It was just one hell of a pee, man. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know why you needed to walk off so far, but... <laughs> He's never done it before. Not that I was talking. Oh, it's waggling now. Not wiggling, it's waggling. <laughs> I don't understand. What is it doing? It's As waggling. I'm trying to walk. <laughs> All right. So you quickly uh, make uh, make chase towards where that lightning struck. And as you guys get there, you see Banpri uh, sitting down um, in the middle of a field, just kind of looking at his hands. I go over and whack him on the head with my with mother. With coal? <laughs> What? With mother. With mother. His staff. I hate. Oh. What'd you do? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, don't try putting that crown on. And I'll uh, I'll stand up. You tried to put it on. I I mean, it's meant to be worn, right? Bad pre. <laughs> I want to get all those gems and put it on him. I want to seal him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for making you worry. We should head back to camp. I wasn't worried about you. Oh, well, then no harm, no harm done. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> Just like. I. Just like stretching her hand out. Imagining choking, choking Banbury. Stops, picks up colleagues, and returns to camp. Just wait. Does the ley line still feel like it's hurting? I um, that first. At, at this point, no. You do not feel the ley line in pain. Does Banbury still have the crown? He does. Layers and returns to camp. Oh, you'll also notice that I was red, and now I'm blue. Yeah, but you changed yeah. color before, so. Yeah. Yeah. You've been struck by lightning. Cool. Yeah. Banpree. Yeah, not the first time. Banpree. Hmm. You literally died like. No. Oh, two was, days ago. I was not. So, I was knocked on. You died. <laughs> you so, died. Uh, so as I leave, I'm gonna cast and tangled on Banpree. You're gonna what? Cast and tank on him. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, it's an effect. I'm just kidding. And he succeeds, obviously. But I, I want to cast a non-damaging spell on him that wouldn't really hinder him much. Fair. All right. The rest of the night goes on uh, without any incident. So. Take that long rest. <clears throat> All right. You guys continue heading heading onwards. Yes. Does yep. the ape feel like it's changing all warmer, colder, the same? It seems about the same. So Tina, who's the uh, lucky guy? <laughs> Just what? Slowly turns head crookedly. It's like. What? What the, the points to egg? <laughs> it's, it's coal. You, you gotta be joking. Uh, it's also breakfast. I'm egg. sure it can be a lot of things. Touch the egg, and I'll cut off your fingers or something. I don't know. I don't have the energy to do. Smack how do you, stop it, you. How do you fail a, a jiggle <laughs> test? <laughs> There wasn't a lot jingle? of effort. Oh, I had a pre. Holds a close. <laughs> so, another day goes by without any incident. And... Before I go to sleep, I'm going to cast plant growth as an action. Okay. I meant to do that last long rest, but you know, um, lightning. Fair. So, on the next day, 
as you uh, start moving forward, uh, I'd like uh, all all those that are um, not an egg, please make perception checks. All those that are not. Oh my god, how do I get a zero? Because you're you. Uh, Marina, uh, you notice as you're walking by um, that it's probably about 100 feet off the uh, path that you've uh, gone, but you see uh, what looks to be something shining underneath uh, some rubble. We'll go and get it. Egg explodes! Now, 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 Cole. That that's in like a few days. Sorry, sorry. I was, he I was, was just prepping over there, and I accidentally released it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go grab the shiny. All right. Uh, Follow. You head over, and um, the shining object is a metal box that was uh, reflecting the sunlight. Opens box. Wait, before Cast I open the box. Magic. Yes, before I open the box, I want to see if it looks trapped. All right, make a uh, investigation check. Is uh, Kyle's thingy going to? Yep, detect magic. All right, you cast detect magic, Tina. Doesn't seem like there's any magic on it. Okay. Doesn't seem trapped. Opens box. All right, look in the party sheet. There's a bunch of stuff there. Including a shimmering opal orb takes the orb immediately I puts it in take pocket the potions oh oh god I, uh, I, I read the spinal as spine exclamation mark I guess <laughs> like, I'll take the whole last spine in here <laughs> I guess I'll take the gemstones too unless uh and pray do you want any of these uh I took the potions do you want any of these gemstones I'm good. Then I will take the gemstone. Cool. Just go ahead and take those onto your inventory. Yep. Oh, and God. I will... <laughs> oh, and there's, wait, gold, too. I'll just throw that into your shit. I was about to say, to I don't do... know if we can carry anymore. I'm to do this. There we go. <laughs> It, it, it's not a whole lot, so you can. I, I left you guys okay. like 10 to 15 pounds worth of stuff you guys can carry. I, I have five pounds that I can carry. What are you talking about? Listen. You said 10, 15. I feel like two. You can drop more coins if you want to. No, I'll just drink a bunch of giant strength. <laughs> That won't be a waste of a hundred thousand gold at all. <laughs> all right. And the rest of the day goes by without any hitch. And on your way, I need, uh, <laughs> uh, Man, Where's the just, waggle? Just your passives will see this dude uh, slowly floating did, towards you. Did we get the rest there? Yeah. Could, could I have used some of the time to identify the potions? Oh, yeah. Or absolutely. at least one, two yeah. Of them? yeah, absolutely. Don't um, forget the shimmering opal. I want the potions first. The, the opal well, I've comes got later. the potions. So, Tina, you have two potions in your inventory. Wait, Kyle, I took the potions. Why do you have them? Because they, I took them from the party sheet. I didn't hear you say you were going to take them. I said that first. Oh, well, like it doesn't I said, matter. I, I can throw them back in. No, it, it doesn't matter. I, you said, I'm going to take the opal, and I'm like, I guess I'll take the potions. I'm sorry. I legit did not hear that. It's I'm fine. Sorry. It's fine. Less shit for me to carry. Fair. So, uh... Probably the two red liquid ones first. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, they are Potion of Greater Healing. I will hand one reluctantly to Bantry. 
Uh, what is he handing me? Potion of greater healing? Yep. Yeah, I'll go to you and it's like, do you want this other one? Don't I have one? I don't know. Why are you asking I me? do have one. Uh... I have one if you don't have one. Oh, wait, was it one potion of greater healing or two? There was supposed to be two. I don't know why there was only one on there. I, I don't know why the two turned into one. Oh. I do not have one in my... Or did it become unidentified? I identified it. Was the other potion just a regular potion of healing? I haven't gotten to that one yet. But I can show that one. That's that's a potion of superior healing. Okay. So... Yeah, I'm currently holding one potion of greater healing. So if you need one or I can take it, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm uh, probably just hold on. I'll hold on to it for Cole then. Okay. Looking at the third vial. <laughs> where did raise his eyebrow? Kyle, where did the potion of greater healing go? Just put I'm, another um, one in there. I know. Yeah, I grab. One went into the party sheet because he put it in the party sheet and I grabbed it, so I have one. Okay. I, I don't know what happened to the other one. There we go. I now have two again. I'll just reach by one. Wait, you gave me one though. Do I, you, do I take he that did, away? We, we, we fixed it, Nick. We fixed it. It's fine. Okay, what happened to the potion of superior healing? It's there, underneath the potion of storm giant strength. Oh, okay, okay. It, it, it moved on me. It was above the potion of healing. <laughs> it moved as soon as the greater healing popped in. Okay. Uh, Marina, do you have anything to identify? I don't think so. Okay. I, I can save a lot of life with this. Only one person. All right. So now, back back to uh, what I was getting to. Uh, let me throw you here. Well, I also want to hand the potion of Storm Giant Strength off to Marina. Oh. <laughs> I'll ask her to know what to do with it. Okay. I feel like this is the best choice I possibly make. This is the other one. Say lyingly, not really caring if she believes me or not. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use this map. As uh, as you guys are walking, you see out of the corner of your eye, just kind of lazily coming towards you, and then it spots you, but it couldn't hide for jack shit. Behold! Oh my god. Kill it with I'm fire? Initiative. Well, he said it spots us, so yeah. yeah. Initiative! <laughs> I like having advantage on initiative. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice. Alright, Bamper, you're up first. Okay. Behold um, the beholder! 5, 10, 15, 20. God, these lines are. Yeah. 25. 30? What was that noise? What was what noise? I heard a noise like a million people joining Discord chat. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything either. I think was your internet blinking? No. no. Hmm. It's just an oddity. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a swing at him. That's a hit. As you do 12 points of damage to him. Oh, I should have reckless attacked. Oh, well. Um, actually, what am I doing? I'm gonna... Hmm, do I want to rage? No, because he'll hit me with something that's... Wait, rage is like all damage, isn't it? No. No? You're, you're not a b bear totem barbarian. Remember. Right, it's just bludgeoning, <laughs> piercing, and slashing. Okay, yep. so yeah, it's not really worth it. Alright, well, here comes the second attack, anyway. That's probably... That's a miss. It. Yep. Um, that's gonna be my turn, I guess. Alright. Tina. Uh, I'm going to reach into Grandmother's pouch of spell components, take out uh, three nutshells, crush my hands, and cast Confusion on it. You're going to cast Confusion on it? Yep. All right. It's a wisdom save. It failed. It is confused. Is that... 
Okay, just had the concentration back. All right. Uh, let me mark that spell up before I forget. All right, the spell assaults the assaults and twists the creature's mind, spawning and provoking uncontrollable, uncontrolled actions. Uh, it failed to save me, though. An affected creature can't take reactions and must roll a d10 at the start of each of its turns to determine its behavior of the turn. At the end of each of turn, an affected creature can make another realism saving throw. So where exactly are you putting this 10-foot radius sphere? And where it won't hit Ben Free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing you have the confused yes, behavior I do. tape. Okay. I'll do. <clears throat> and 5, 10, 15, 20. You got guys! It's my turn. All right. Marina. So, Tina's running. Not backing up. Ben Pri's being Ben Pri. Uh, and this is just right. an undead eye monster. Yeah. Could use Lay Energy Bolt on it. And it wouldn't hit Ban Pri. Uh, I'm going to reapply confusion to it. It doesn't have a proper amount of rounds. Ah. Hey, what you doing, Marina? Thinking. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do a lay energy bolt. <laughs> <laughs> it Fair. doesn't hit band pre, right? Or do I need to shift? Nope, you're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's a two. <laughs> as you do 25 points of damage, as you just point your, uh, sword towards it and just a bolt of lay energy comes out of it. Yes, feel the energy! Why couldn't the you do that last night? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the other night. What are you talking about? And that's probably six seconds. <laughs> All right. All right, Beholder. I would just like to make the argument that uh, I did not do the most damage to it and that I should not be. Oh, he's confused, isn't he? Yeah. Well, it rolled a nine, so it can act and move normally. Well, fuck it. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see. Which eye ray does it get to use? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I tried. For us or it? <laughs> Let's see. And, uh, yeah, it's going towards Marina. Fair. So, you're decent at deck saves. It's fine. Oh. Hey, but that's inspiration. That is. <laughs> For the record, I was against this. As, uh, a dark necrotic beam flies towards you, dealing 36 My points of uh, force God. damage. That was a oh. lot of dice. Yeah. Kill it. Whew. That was. Did you say a dark necrotic beam did force damage? Yes. <laughs> okay. Listen, this um, th this beholder doesn't know what it's doing. It's confused. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it wasn't supposed to do that. I'm sorry. I would like to recklessly attack it. You see. Do it. That's My mess. God! All right, dice. I see how it is. Three and a five. N oh, that's oh. a crit. I would like to use my orb of crit strength. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, do I put the? No, I just roll and then oh, put it in the mod. Hold on, right? hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, where's your orb of crit strength? I figured out how to do this. Uh, it was okay. That should work if you apply the effect. Okay. If it doesn't. I'll and just then... delete the second number. It's fine. Go ahead. All right. Die. Yep. It worked. Perfect. 
uh, as you do 29 points of damage. Yay. All right, that's my turn. <laughs> now you do the most damage to it. Tina. I... 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, uh, one, two, level kill wounds. Fair. That's fair. Five, ten. <laughs> and there we go. Marina. Well then. Um. I didn't like that. Like, see, I have ice knife. You could do that without being entry. I could. I could also just, you know, hit it with kindness from here. <laughs> you could. Big. What, 40 feet? Yes. Yeah, 40 feet. That's a hit. As you do five points of damage. All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right. And blop. All right, that's a seven, so it has to make a melee attack against somebody within range. Oh, I crit. wonder who that could be. That's a crit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A taste of my own medicine, I see. Oh. So in addition to uh, standard critical hit oh, uh, oh, damage. Oh, uh, David, yes. did it roll a wisdom saving throw at the end of its last turn? No. Does it need to? Yeah. Sorry, uh, I forgot to. Don't 16. worry. I don't worry. It's okay. still confused. Um, so, Nick, the uh, this giant floating eyeball just chomps down on your hamstring um, you're slowed. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> a bad bonus action. As you take 41 points of damage. I probably should have raged. <laughs> Why did yeah. I was like, oh, shooty eye monster. No way it would do bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage until <laughs> it bites me. Well, you know, it had no choice. Uh, but yeah, you are slowed, so you can take an action or a bonus action you can't do both <clears throat> and you have no reactions at the end of your turn you can make a save to try and end the effect okay. then at the end, it gets another wisdom saving throw yep. guys next one bitten by a zombie we're just gonna have to end Still him fail <laughs> all right banpri you can take an action or okay. a reaction I believe, if I'm not mistaken, multi attack's gone. Yeah, yeah, you don't you don't have multi attack either while slowed. All right. Well, reckless is free, right? Yeah. So you can I'm make a single one. reckless attack. All right. That's a oh. hit. As you do well, seven points of damage, it's not I'll, it's not looking I'll, great. I'll blade it. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that's my turn, I guess. And you said something right. about a save. Uh, yes. One second. Please it, be the con save. It is oh, a wisdom save. No. Yes. No. Yep. You're lying. I'm not. Do it. A bite to the leg is a wisdom. Oh, fuck. I have no inspiration either. I'm never getting out of this. Yep. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. It's not getting out of confusion. Uh, I'm going to do a cantrip and I'm going to connect play lines. Yep. Uh, so, uh, it's a strong ley line in this area, or is it weak? Yes. Seven is. <laughs> eh. it's just, it's just, I was going to use Fireball, though. Okay. Doesn't matter. Nope. Uh, oop. That's a hit, though. And that has to. And that is nine points of damage. Take that! Why isn't it yet? Marina! Why isn't it dead yet? <laughs> That's an excellent question. 
Bamfrey, why aren't you hitting no, it harder? No, we're just lay energy bolting it again. Marina nearly got, like, disintegrated by necrotic energy. By force, force energy. energy. Force energy? No, that was necrotic, I thought you said. Force. No, it, it's a necrotic looking beam of force energy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, did it succeed? <laughs> no, it failed. And it's dead. As you just blast it away with force energy. Alright. <clears throat> Moving on. Banpre, you kind of move slowly for a bit, but you shake off uh, the bite to the hamstring. Eventually, right? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 for about a minute. Oh, okay. I got healed again, apparently. Yep. Snuck behind you, catch you on the shoulder, healed you. Gonna go Banpre's chance real quick. Kick shins. <laughs> a burning energy courses through you, healing wounds, cauterizing them shut. Ow. <laughs> That's right. I love yeah, the I defense of the two. Again. We've got Auntie Tina, who's all fire and burning, and then Marina, who's literally a mermaid, so hers is all probably like the traditional idea of healing, kind of like a cooling, soothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. <laughs> Everyone tries to go for healing. Antitine is there instead. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the healing today. You go rest. Okay, sounds good to me. Me bleeding profusely. You know what? It's fine. It can wait a day. <laughs> so, you guys... Why is the egg trying to deceive me? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> So you guys settle down and start uh, start your rest. Yeah, um, I'm going to use an action to do the uh, plant grow again. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm assuming, but tell me if I'm wrong, Tina, that you would be sleeping, like, with the egg? Probably, yeah. Okay. Or at least very close by. David, I need you to have Auntie Tina wake up spooning Cole. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> or Cole wake up being spooned by Auntie Tina. Oh no, it's gonna even be even better than that. I will ship this across the ocean and back. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as the night goes through, you guys take your 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 watches and your rests and as as you're sleeping Tina you wake up because it feels really warm like hmm. feels home <laughs> a, no, no, home home like the the warmth of a volcano why am I home? <laughs> Wakes up in a panic. And as you wake up, the egg starts shattering, um, and you've been holding on to it, and inside is a uh, is a coal. I, I mean, I was expecting this, but what? <laughs> and he has all his items in his uh, gear. Is it adult coal? I'm confused. How yep. did that come out of that small egg? It wasn't super small. It wasn't small. Mm. And it, it's an adult coal. Just exactly how he was before his untimely demise. I know how to wake him up. I cast cures on him. <laughs> By the way, who's awake for their watch at this point? Uh, it's funny because I apparently am missing hit points somehow. <laughs> uh, it would be uh, Marina's watch because you're the last one. So <laughs> I have a 22 perception. Would oh. I just be awkwardly staring at this? Yeah, you would. You would be uh, awkwardly staring as Tina was uh, cuddling the egg. And she goes, ah, ha, 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 and it breaks apart into a coal. Raises eyebrow. Do I awaken for this? I don't know. Make a perception check. Let's see how, how much oh. you're snoring. Would it be a disadvantage because he's asleep? 
Oh, eh, no. there, there's enough noise. No, there's not. <laughs> You're asleep. It's a dream. Go back to sleep. Oh, I should have connected to the ley lines for the cure wounds. Cole down. Now, is Cole uh, awake? Hour. Is Cole asleep? Cole it. Cole wakes up to the noise and burning sensation that Tina. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, it's, it's you. Okay. you. All right. Okay. Goes back to sleep ne next to Cole. Raises eyebrow. <laughs> Completely accepts this has happened and moves on. <laughs> this this seems normal for her. This is just what all Janatis do, you see. So, what did I miss? Uh, Banpre died. I brought him back. You turned into an egg. Now we're heading back to Zephyr's house? Okay. Alright. So you guys got away. No, we killed it. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> um, pointing at Auntie Tina. Aunt, Aunt Tina, Auntie Tina, you probably shouldn't eat that one. Mm, crunchy. That was a stink bug. <laughs> <laughs> you think she hasn't smelled worse? <laughs> she probably smells just as bad. <laughs> or it smells like a campfire. It's one of the two or both. Look, we killed it. It tried and nearly did kill us, but we killed it. Alright. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, looks to arm bad. I'm out of surprises for a while, so. Yeah, I think most of us are. Oh, good. And by most of us, I'm pretty sure all of us are. Oh, good. Also, Banpre doesn't believe that he died. He definitely died. Okay. <laughs> also, oh wait, no, I totally, I forgot, Banpre got struck by lightning the other night. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's not the first Maybe. time it's happened. Apparently, Tina lectured me about it. The while this happened, the ley line was crying like it was wounded. What the fuck did he do? I don't know. He did. He earned my to... ire. He has earned my ire. Will you shut up? People are trying to sleep. I, I figured we were talking off to the side while you two. <laughs> I, uh, I did not hear you guys say you moved away, so I assumed well, you guys Marino were still nearby. Well, Marino was sitting away. Cole, like Cole, never said he moved. I guess. Uh, am I tired, David? Do no, I have, like... you feel wide awake. Fully healed and ready to go. Alright, I go and sit down next to Marina. I can take over. I just woke up. It's last watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I already got my six hours of sleep. Wait, you're denying more sleep? <laughs> Wait, Angie gets up at this, checks her forehead to see if she has a fever. <laughs> are, are you okay? I got enough sleep. Oh, what Holy happened shit. while I was gone? Holy <laughs> shit, she's cursed! <laughs> Go hide behind Cole. <laughs> Thing. I, the best part about this is Banpre sleeping through all of it. I know. <laughs> just, just, you guys are being ridiculous. No, just you like... are. This isn't even the beginning of my watch. 
We're like an hour into my watch. While I'm sleeping. Oh, Lynette, look how much money I have. <laughs> Who the fuck's Lynette? It was Lizette. What's Lizette? <laughs> <laughs> Look, are, are you really gonna quit? It's Bampri. Alright, I'm just gonna start that? making breakfast then. <laughs> Tina, go back to sleep. You still need sleep. I'm not arguing the point, but I'm concerned about your sickness. I'm not sick. I'll yell at you later. Oh, well, she's out. <laughs> I wish I could fall asleep that fast. Oh my god. <clears throat> so Cole okay, makes some. But... Yeah, I'm fine. Cole <laughs> makes some food, and uh, after a bit, Bampri and Tina wake up to the smell of delicious food. Mm. Cole, you're alive! Mm -mm. That smells good. Goes up into the bushes and eats some leaves and bugs. <laughs> oh my god. I like how Cole's ignoring Bampery. I think we just lost Sean, actually. Sean just gets back and now he's dead. It would appear to be the case. His thing uh, is lighting up, yeah. but... He's... Oh, I heard him for a second. It's a shame that I'm fucking dead, anyway. <laughs> there we go, now you're alive. Uh, Excuse me. Raises an eyebrow at Tina. Pushes the second plate over to Banbury. Don't give him my plate! <laughs> Slowly takes plate. Slowly casts and tangle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, okay. <laughs> you know what? I have it. Let's go in front of his table and pop balloon fairy dust. By which I mean fairy fire. <laughs> That's going to be the way I annoy Bamfrey. I either tangle him or cast fairy fire in his face. So, so you cast fairy fire right next to him so we both get hit by it. Okay. I, I am willing to use a first level spell slot for this. All right, go ahead. God. <laughs> you both succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us expected it to happen, so we got out of the way. But the plate itself is glowing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bantry, the food that's in your hands is now glowing. <laughs> If and think, I walk away. If you think I still won't eat this, you're about to be disappointed. <laughs> it's it's glowing a flame color. Yeah, I'm eating it. <laughs> Does that so mean his insides will glow? <laughs> the plan. I can tell you someone's going to be really surprised in like 12 hours when this goes through me. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just... I go over to Cole and hand him a potion of great healing and no, a potion of superior healing and an arrow of dragon sling. Right. Hey, Cole, how do you like money? Uh. Well. Yeah. Look, I need you to feel my backpack right now. <laughs> you want to feel your hump? What? My backpack? Okay. It, can, it's he not carry, can, he, can he carry my backpack right now, David? Uh, he'd probably have a little bit of trouble, but he he could lift it for well, a Well, with bit. all the gold. Yeah. You know. Okay, well, I'm just going to literally shove my overly stuffed bag that has so many coins in it at Cole. <laughs> Did, Opens did it, you... takes a peek, closes it, raises an eyebrow. <laughs> All right. I've been carrying this around for days. We all have an absurd and obscene 
and possibly, probably a legal amount of money. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm carrying it. I don't use money. Look, if the government found out we had this, I don't know what a government is, but I know what they do. <laughs> Listen, we would lose like 90% of this. <laughs> It'd be some kind of finder's fee, even though we're the ones that found it. <clears throat> we could buy so many castles with this. Yeah, if I wanted to live in a castle, I would have just stayed home. Well, you I'm going to castle? buy a castle. I lived in a forest. How do you say forestress? Forestress? I guess that's Fortress. just a Pokemon. I was trying to make a forest and forest. Oh. <laughs> a forestress? <laughs> yeah, a for I lived in a forestress, but it just doesn't sound. It sounds like something Tina would say, though. Anyways, uh, there's, a, there's a two items in the party sheet for you, Cole. I say we cleanse the evil from this land, and then we, like, make our own country here, and we rule it. I mean, speaking from experience, this is probably enough to buy one. You bought a country? No. A castle? What? Oh, no. What? Where are we going? <laughs> What's going uh, on? We're going to Zephyr's house. <laughs> Why? Well, do we have any other things that we're specifically supposed to be doing right now? Looking for a way to seal the bitch? Yeah. We have that way. We just need more gemstones now. And Zephyr might have an idea of where some are. He gave us all the clues he knew of? I can't remember. <clears throat> the only thing he knew... Um, from what you guys remember, the only thing that he knew was the location of the uh, Crown of Sealing, <clears throat> which was down south from him. The gems were carefully hidden away by all the other members of his party. And then they, those memories were wiped so that they could never be found. I wonder if he's got an extra bow lying around. He seemed to be missing mine. Maybe he's heard some rumors, you know, in this undead forest filled with no one. <clears throat> I, I know I'm insane, but that was just bad and crazy what you just said. I, that was the point, Tina. That was the point. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know you're insane? <laughs> I'm insane? <laughs> nah. Mother, why didn't you tell me? I just shake my set back and forth. Mother, why don't you talk like we used to? Because you're a crazy old hag. <laughs> nah, you're the crazy old hag and you know it. Things were so much better when grandmother's around. She had <laughs> talked to me. Leans over to Cole or Marina, whoever's closer. I wonder who her father is. <laughs> what kind of relationship is there? Do I hear you know, him that? Banpri, I need you to ask. So, so Banpri, were you trying to uh, be quiet? <laughs> I mean, half and half. I wasn't trying to be overly quiet, but it was definitely a hushed voice and not a normal With one. My passive of 18, did I hear it? Uh, oh, God. Make, make a stealth check, Banpri. Oh, Beat an 18. Oh, good. Okay, stealth. Here we go. <laughs> Just slowly turns head to Banpri. A big, crooked smile on her face. One eye partially closed, the other one wide open. So you want to know who my father is, huh? Gets <laughs> uncomfortably close. Uh, Marina, help. <laughs> oh no, I need uh, to know this information. Gets real <laughs> close. How badly do you want to know? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean... Does the 180 away. <laughs> And that's how it's done, Mother. Leans back over to Marina. <laughs> I wonder what Uncle Tina's like. 
stopped in her tracks and looked around. <laughs> she can hear everything I'm saying, can't she? <laughs> anyway. Just pats Banbury on the back. <laughs> so where are you guys heading? I mean, do you guys still want to go to Zephyr's house, or what? Because that's where we were going. Um... <clears throat> we could stop there just to rest and come up with a better plan. It seems like we need to find the rest of these gemstones now. How long was I out? How close are we? <clears throat> yeah, uh, how close maybe are like we? like a day out? <laughs> About the half a day least. now with Cole. At the very yeah. least, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear we got the crown. Like half a day out? A day out? Half a day. I know, but Marina's not... I mean, not we might there. as well at that point. Alright, onward! Alright. About half a day goes by, and, uh... <clears throat> you see, uh, Zephyr's cottage, and, uh... You see, on top of it, uh, Zephyr kind of just sitting on his uh, roof with his bow out. Waves mother at him. <laughs> oh, it's you guys. Back so soon. All right, night. We got the crown, and we have two gems out of five total. Well, come on in. We'll go inside cottage. We'll go to the garden and be casting uh, plant glow for eight hours. <laughs> so, Zephyr, how good are you at making bows goes inside? Uh, I have a few that I've been <laughs> uh, What, what was around. the ley line in this area again? Uh, this one was the, uh, not the strong, but the... Uh, Titanic? Titanic? The weak. Weak. Oh, weak. Okay. Cool. I don't have to speak to her this entire time. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Cole, he says, I got a few bows. Why, uh, extra bows lying around. You need one? Yeah, mine, uh, mine is irreparable. <clears throat> All right. Uh, he goes to his room and, uh, brings out a longbow. This too. Okay. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, I'm just going to throw that in your inventory. I can make the arrows on my own. Takes a little bit, but <laughs> bows are a little bit more intricate. Yeah, it, they are. That's kind of why I taught myself how to make them. Since I'm kind of stuck here. Uh, though, if you need some starter arrows, I, I can hand you some. I won't say no. All right. He... Uh, he Brings you uh, ten arrows. Hooray! <clears throat> so, do you have any idea where we could get the other three gems we need? Well, as I told you before, I don't know. The gems were hidden by uh, members of the of my party. That reminds me, I do have a plan. Hmm. Um, a couple days ago, or a week ago, however long it was. God, I'm starting to devolve into Henrina's voice because I can't remember how Banfrey's voice goes. Um, Very we, deep uh, and scratchy. <laughs> yeah, the, the horrible voice. We, uh, I was accosted by what was it, fairies or pixies? They said if we, uh, if we defeated the uh, strongest thing in this forest, we'd get a wish. Could we theoretically <laughs> use that wish to? Oh no. Uh, I wouldn't trust those things as far as you can throw them. Well, there goes my plan. They're, constant, hoping... they're constantly playing tricks on uh, on me. <clears throat> so the, the wish part was a lie then? Most likely. Damn it. Well, there goes my plan. But <clears throat> you found the, you got the crown of sealing, which is which is one more thing in your guys' grasps away from the mistress's army. 
keep that away from them. Because their goal will be to find that and the gems <clears throat> and destroy it at the place where we sealed the Crimson Mistress. Mm, where that, is that place? So theoretically, you know, if it's destroyed somewhere else, what would happen? Well, as far as we're aware, the crown can't be destroyed except where somebody was sealed. <clears throat> it's a one-time use item. It was very difficult to find. And from what we were told, there's no other way to destroy it besides to unseal someone. So if there's no gems in this area, does that mean we have to go back outside the barrier and uh, scour the world? Hard to say at this point. Thousands of years have passed. And those gems could be anywhere. But you asked where she was sealed. In case the crown ever gets taken from us and we need to rush to some place and we don't know where to go. She was sealed in her castle. Which where was, oh, okay. <laughs> which was... Is... In the southernmost part of this uh, barrier. You'll be able to find it as... It's very corrupted <clears throat> the corruption has spread throughout the years but I believe it has yet to pass uh, I think on my last expedition the the old village of Wildhold the, villi the river that's by there I don't think the corruption has passed that yet <clears throat> But it's for way further south. And the castle is deep within the corrupted lands. So she can't be beaten without this crown? <clears throat> the only way to, to beat her would be to unseal her. And we couldn't do it back when we, when we were in charge. Alright, what do you guys want to do? I say to the rest of the party. <laughs> <clears throat> They're ignoring me. Tina's not, the... not there. Tina's not there. I don't know. I don't think Sean knows. <laughs> well. If we could systematically start taking out the people that work for her. Um... Hopefully, there wouldn't be anyone who would uh, try to bring her back. Yeah, we try it. I know we tried that and we thought we killed one. But from what it sounds like, she just yeah. made her escape. But killing her henchmen and any possible new followers. There might actually be some merit to that idea. Her followers are no doubt looking for the gems we need. If we can't find the gems, we might as well find the people looking for them. That'd be our best source of information. Even and if we they know hold of a couple of them, they can't necessarily do anything with an incomplete set. Yeah, and that'd be yeah. the best case scenario if we could take them from them. And we know of one person in particular we could hunt down already. Or at least Marina and I do. Acacia. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> Acacia. You're going to love her, Cole. <laughs> she was the Crimson Mistress right hand woman. Mm -hmm. We thought we killed her, but it was thanks to you that I learned that we didn't. I, I think would... we're strong enough to where we could take her down now. <laughs> I doubt it. Good luck with that, but if you do kill her, make sure she stays dead. We already fought her once.
But yeah, that's, uh, that's the only plan I can put forward. We hunt down Acacia. Maybe we don't necessarily bones. start with her. Um, it sounds like she's got a pretty strong grip on uh, the army and she'd have lots of people around. But if we can find out who works for her, it's systematically take out her help. Uh, it might be easier to take her down in the long run. And we'll get wow. stronger along the way. I like that plan. We can try, but we only know one name and you can't exactly go around asking for people that works for her. Not I mean, only you that, can. But well, stealthily. And not only that, but those people probably wouldn't have any gemstones. We also know what they're looking for. So... Also, didn't you tell me the last time you guys were here about another one that uh, summoned a giant uh, fish creature? Oh, right. We met another person. God, I don't remember her name for the life of me. I think we only met once. She so ran away. Weren't they in jail? Uh, I don't know. I was too strong. She ran away from me. <laughs> as you... As Marina, you would remember with how smart you are. Uh, Vivian. Vivian. You, <clears throat> well, you met her when she summoned the creature. You never met, got her name there, but through... Uh, some digging thanks to your thanks to your friend back in uh, that town you were able to learn that her name was Vivian and you don't know where she went right she left with the fish and we jailed the followers right mm -hmm. the last, there we go I knew someone got put in jail uh, it wasn't Banbury <clears throat> Banbury also got put in jail so that would yeah. probably be a priority if someone can, uh, be, if someone can summon more help. We probably need to try to take them out first. Yeah. Uh, anyone that can grow their numbers is a uh, is a danger to be left alone for a long time. Yeah. Well, you'll also want to. You will also want to take care of what she summoned, as if you're thinking of taking care of anyone that can grow their numbers, that creature is the number one culprit. All right, giant fish monster first. Mm. So a thing like that can't go around without uh, being noticed, so... If we make it back to civilization, we might be able to put out feelers and find something. If I remember correctly, it was an abolith, nihilith, that she summoned, right? That was the description that you gave me? Yeah. Not something easy to take down, but something that can pretty easily get new followers. <clears throat> I just don't know where they'd be keeping it. Well, we do have a few sources that we can start looking into. We could also just look into the rumor mill if someone see, says something about a weird flying giant dead fish. Well. I doubt it would be that obvious, but you know. <laughs> yeah, especially if, uh, what I remember, it, it was able to go between the material and ethereal plane. Hmm. So I have a meta question, David. Yes. Um, I was a while back, so I have a hard time remembering. Bampri's brother, were we all around for that? Yes. yes. And Bampri mentioned it was his brother? Yes. Yep, I said that out loud. Okay. I think that was since we've last been here. By the way, I thought nobody could come in here except for us. 
You're right. Nobody should be able to come in through the barrier except those that... Well, those that know about the barrier are able to come through. My brother was able to come through. Forgot all about it, actually. That's concerning. Any... Any... Do you know why he was in here? He's definitely working for, uh... Just sort of trails off. <laughs> so he's another one of the mistress's pawns, then. That begs... That begs quite a few questions, because... <laughs> Nobody should know about the barrier, and as such, they shouldn't be able to come through the barrier. Those that can, the only ones that can come through are those that know about it. So how did they find out about the barrier? Cause that also raises <clears throat> another question. Uh, takes Maul off back and holds it out. I'm assuming that's the only reason I'm carrying this. Hard to say. The elders work in mysterious ways. I still don't know why I was chosen. But if what you say is true and your brother is working for the mistress and was in the barrier, I can only imagine how many of her underlings are already here. Well, if they were after the crown, they're going to be disappointed. <clears throat> well, seeing as you got the crown, you know that it was not an easy task. I mean... Begin sweating. <laughs> I can already okay. tell that just looking at your items that you had to use their powers to since the last time we we talked yeah every single one of us did <clears throat> so you're gonna have your hands full I don't know where you should begin but at this point we should assume that their underlings might be in the barrier already. But since we have the crown, there's nothing they can do in here, right? So we're free to leave? Correct. To an extent, at least. They could very well be bolstering their numbers in the barrier. But I don't know. Well, we have to find the gems, so we have to leave either way, I think. Unless all three gems are in this side of the barrier. I doubt it. Unless they somehow already got collected the other three gems. And I would be... I'd be impressed and would be more willing to risk my life than take that bet. So we leave and, what, go next to the nearest town and see what kind of rumors we can drum up? We could also go all the way back and see if we can figure out anything from the people that are in jail. If they're still there. I think they died, didn't they? The two people that were jailed died? Yeah, they uh, ended up I... killing themselves from divulging information. Ah, okay, that's slightly less concerning for the town, then. You know, one crazy idea, if we could find where they're recruiting, would be to join up. Pretty sure they know our faces by now, Banfrey. Well, not every single one of them. If Only the right the hand, which now people. probably uh, leads the army. I mean, it's uh, not like they got posters. David. Um, yes. Just a quick question. Are there any butterflies and moths around? Yeah, there'd be. Well, butterflies cool. and moths would be at night. Cool. Tina just screams suddenly and just 
and then that's it. Okay. I I I have to play my flaws. You see, it's fair. Wait, wait. Okay, that's just Tina being Tina. <laughs> no, that was a scream of fear. Grip small. Yeah, rushes outside. Just absolute terror, and you just this little butterfly just coming at her. All right, and I w we've had a run in with butterflies. Actually, I'd run outside and make a mall attack at it. <laughs> Do I hit it? You you hit it and smash it into a tiny pieces. I don't get inspiration from killing the butterfly, do no. I? <laughs> okay. I proceed to cr try and crawl on Bampy's back as I'm trying to get farther away from it. Uh, that. Anyway, uh, to your to another point of Cole's. Banpri, you just said your brother encountered all of you. Yeah. And you said he was working for the mistress. Yeah. They know all your faces. Yeah. Who knows my face? Fall off Bamfrey on the floor. Bamfrey's brother knows your face. Bamfrey has a brother. Didn't we kill him? I tried to kill him. He's still alive. Trust me, he wouldn't die that easily. Marina looks a little offended. Does it ro does it just is it in your line not to die that easily? You're dying I just know he's still alive. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> well, it seems you guys have some decisions to make on where you're going next. Yeah I take take the night think on it you're obviously free to rest here what are you going to do still stay in the cottage even with all the uh, evil people flying around I can handle my own to an extent and I'll just lay low because if I leave the barrier the barrier is destroyed all if right. I die the barrier is destroyed so Yeah, that doesn't sound comforting, actually. <laughs> no, not at all. But I kind of makes me wonder why they haven't targeted you already. They don't know where he's at. Yeah. I've what? I've laid low. This also isn't the first place that I've uh, put my cottage. I've moved all across. I generally stay in a spot for about a hundred years and then move. Okay, well, I'm going to begin getting ready for bed, so... I'm gonna investigate the shimmering orb back out in the garden. Away from the butterfly corpse. <laughs> Alright, uh, you take an hour, and the shimmering opal orb is an orb of the war mage. I really want it, but I'll go up to Marina's knock on the door. Opens door. Jen or gets shoved into your face. You can use this. What is it? It's the orb you found. And then yeah, I what does it do? Ah, uh, magic stuff. <laughs> it it makes it easier. I, okay. If you don't want it, I'll keep it. I don't have a problem I honestly, with it. you for me, I couldn't actually hear what you said. I oh, <laughs> so... um, it, it it makes things it makes you a, a little more accurate with your hits. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I'll put in the party sheet. Oh, spell attacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Spell attacks, right? Look, you might have said spell attacks, but I'm also real tired, so, like, I was like, why aren't we giving this to Cole? Oh, it says spell attacks. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a war mage sphere orb. Look, 
I didn't say I was the brightest noodle. You... <laughs> My you... intelligence score is strictly average. <laughs> You're not a noodle. <laughs> Can you be a smart noodle? Turns into a mermaid. <laughs> that, that doesn't answer the question. I'm more noodle-like like this. No, no, you're more fish-like. Turns back into leg form. You, is, humanoid. Um, humanoid. This is uh, uh, what is it called? Um, wild shit turned into a worm. Come, then turns back a moment later. That's how you become more like noodle. Turns into worm. Turns back. There you go. <laughs> Night on Bamfrey's door turns into a um sitting a bear. on sitting on bed. There's some weird <laughs> shit going on next door. Knock the door as soon as I hear uh, footprints coming to the door. I'm gonna switch into a black bear. Opens door. You see a mock wow. bear. <laughs> Slowly closes door. <laughs> turns back and back out to the garden. <laughs> no, I uh, stay as bear and go out into the garden and sleep. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I'll switch back soon. Marina, do you attune to the uh, Orb of the War Mage? Uh, can I? I think so. Yeah, I think you only have one attunement. That's what I'm... I didn't know Zephyr was a Beastmaster Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Well, right. it, it's slotted in. Yeah, I only have one attunement. Alright. Shoo. You'll slot that and attune to it. I meant to identify that sooner, but I kept forgetting. All right, and I've already adjusted your spells to get that plus one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so you guys all, all get some rest. Uh, Sean. Yeah. Come with me. Okay. Cool. Be right. Hi, Sean. Did I do? Oh, you didn't do anything. Um, as as you fall asleep, uh, you hear very clearly the message that the last couple of times was very fuzzy. Couldn't hear much. But now it's clear as day. You hear your father's voice. Cole! You get back home this instant. We are under attack and we need all the help we can get. Um, am I able to respond? You are able to respond. Let's see. I'll see what I can do. By who, if you get a chance. And that and message right there. All right. Um, a few moments go by. You hear. Finally, we've been trying to get to you for weeks. The elementals. They're revolting. And I'll just be quiet. I choose not to respond. All right. We'll go back. Uh, I think they're back. Hello. They are. So uh, you guys get a uh, a nice rest. Y'all, oh, here, here's your long rest. A boop, 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 a dee boop. And you wake up in the morning to to some good food made by Zephyr. Um, nom 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 nom. Eats ten plates full. So guys, yeah, I have an idea of where to start. Where? Okay, where? The crazier the better. I received a message from my hometown that they're under attack. I don't know if we'll get there in time. Um. 
but uh -huh. the elementals apparently have started revolting. How, how we get there? <sighs> By boat. But we're gonna oh. have to go to the forest we, first. We, we can travel to a different plane by boat. <laughs> Tina uh, thinks she, that uh, at the very least Tina Cole comes from another plane in existence. <laughs> I don't understand. Matt is usually done for this. I my boat. You'll understand when we get there. <laughs> I don't believe you. If they're under attack now and we have to take a boat to get there. I'm just going to tell you we're probably too far away to help them. I understand that. They can handle themselves, but we might be able to get... Apparently, I prepare a part of rethink. What, uh... What caused the revolt? Which, with as much trouble as they've been stirring up, I can't say, uh, would be entirely unrelated from what we've been doing. Especially with the timing. Alright. Well, we get out of this forest, I can get us on a boat. So if we're going boat, I should have tidal wave instead of water breathing, right? <laughs> <laughs> but we're not quite there yet. Okay, eats one plate of food and then gets up to leave because we're in a hurry now. <laughs> okay. Takes the up nine plates with to the road. <laughs> All, right. All right. So you guys uh, start heading out. <clears throat> yeah. All right. I'll, I'll use the shrub goodberries to give uh, Ampre two of them. As why not? All right. Banfrey, he didn't have, eat enough. You now have two good berries. I will pop both of them in my mouth. All right. <laughs> For the rest of the day, I have some good berries. All right. So, you say your goodbyes to Zephyr as you head on out. I'm assuming you guys are just going to follow the paths that you've uh, taken to get out. Yeah. 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 Fastest right. way possible. <clears throat> Two days go by without uh, any issue. Mm -hmm. um, but on the third day, I'm going to move you forward. Um, as you start seeing the river uh, come up ahead, you guys hear loud thundering steps coming through the forest. Oh no. Which direction? In which way do I need to run? Um it make a perception check cuz it kind of sounds like it's all around you. If it sounds like it's all around us, well, I guess I'll do the perception check. Would I be able to try to duck under a tree? Uh, sure. Um, so, <clears throat> Marina, uh, it's coming from the south. Can I tell roughly how far away it is? Uh, it is, at this point, probably 120 feet away. Guys, it's coming from the south. Begins uh, running. <laughs> right now. Band Prix running? Yeah, we're Towards running away, aren't we? Away. away. Okay. Well, Cole's trying to hide. Uh, oh, we'll God. go and attempt to hide as well. You know, I will dive into a bush. All right. Oh, I will successfully <laughs> dive into a bush. All right. Well, all right. So, 
as uh, you hear the steps uh, coming closer. Um, let's, let's see you guys there. You see a giant figure with like a hundred legs and it looks like a spider. You guys dove into bushes like this. <clears throat> um, as Cole, you're, uh, you kind of look around trying to, to see what's going on and you see this creature heading straight for the bush that you're in. Which creature? Ah, I see. How far away? Okay, that looks cool. Actually, that's like badass looking. About 35 feet away um, is where we're going to be starting initiative. As it noticed you, Cole. It's a mini tartar, mini tartar. No. <laughs> mini tartar, mini tartar. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Banpri, you notice that the bush coal dove into the this minotaur is just running rushing straight towards oh god okay um are we prone or are we like standing up because we did dive into bushes uh i'd say you're kind of like kneeling in a bush you're not necessarily prone but you're hiding all right i'm gonna bonus action rage because i can already tell this is gonna get ugly okay uh, actually i should wait until i move before i do that one second okay these lines are hard to see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Yeah, I can't even get close to that thing. I figured, okay, yeah. Um, rage, and I will hold, uh, hold an attack when it comes near me. I'd like to recklessly smack it once, I assume. All That's right. All I'm going to get. Tina. Kind of behind a uh, band tree there, so I'm going to connect to the ley lines to try and lay energy bolt this guy. Okay. You succeeded. All right, and we are on the week. Uh, yeah. Aha! He doesn't hear it coming. <laughs> oh, but he'll see it coming. Yeah, yeah, he will. Uh, uh, he failed. Perfect. Mini Tata, Mini Tata. As he takes 27 points of damage. I attempt to make it look like Man Free cast a spell to hide back in the bush. <laughs> Theoretically, I hide in the bush, even though I can't actually do it. Right. And I'm going to use a bonus action to cast Guardians of Nature for the first time. Okay. To do a great tree, which gives me 10 temporary hit points, like constitution saving throw advantages, Are and we spells that. Uh... Hmm? Are we doing that you can cast? Hey, wait, wait. Um, this is from. Can I cast it at the time? Uh, I, I keep forgetting if we can or not. Um, since it's from an orb, uh, you can, because that's like activating a magic item and it's a bonus action, so you can. Okay. Yeah, I get a uh, constitution saving advantage, uh, attacks, uh, death or wisdom base, get advantage, and 15 feet around, the, an area within 15 feet of is difficult to make for enemies. Okay. So I'll get that in 15 seconds. <clears throat> All right. Well, it's Minita's turn. Uh, it notices you, Ban Preacher, sitting out there in the open. Yep. As it rushes for towards you. Uh, um, so... Do I do my smack first, or does it hit me first? You can, you, um, can go ahead. you can go ahead and... Uh, well, you can't use uh, Reckless. Uh, that has to be the 
first attack on your turn. This is a reaction. Oh. Okay, so it's just a normal attack? Yeah, just a normal attack. That's a hit. It's not a fine. <clears throat> 17 points of damage. All right. <clears throat> so, because it is charging you, uh, here is the gore attack. That's a hit. So... Let's do that, and then... <clears throat> Uh, you take 34 reduced to 17 damage as it rushes forwards and just gores you with its uh, horns. <clears throat> and now here comes its uh, great axe attacks. Oh no. Uh, first one misses. And the second one hits. <clears throat> Doing 20 reduced to 10 damage. Dear God, that thing hits like a truck. <laughs> Mini Tata, Mini Tata. Marina. Now, I heard more than just this, right? Uh, you heard a crackling beam of lay energy, and then... Bam. No, before this guy showed up, it sounded like there was more than just the one. Uh, it definitely sounded like it. <sighs> Unfortunately, Banpre... Or, Cold got spotted. No, I know. I have a spell called By the Light of the Watchful Moon, which any basically light would come down on any enemies uh, within range of 90 feet around us. So we'd at least know where all the threats are. But I'm debating on whether or not to use that or just try and fight the one band has got. And I think I'm going to just fight the one that Ban has got for right now. Fair. Uh, because I know I thought I heard more, I'm going to just do kindness right now. Okay. That's a hit. Because it takes eight points of damage. Uh, it's my turn. All right. Cole. Pop up. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Yeah, let's kill this thing before things get bad. Um. Bonus action. I'm gonna do a fainting attack. Okay. Uh, you were not targeting it. I can do that again. One second. Meh. That is a miss. Okay. Um. Second attack, I guess. That is a miss. This isn't gonna even gonna mark my that final inspiration. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um. Action surge. Okay. That's hey. another miss. What did you roll that for? That's a hit. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, we'll just go with Distracting Strike. Okay. That's good damage. <clears throat> it's 19 points of slashing damage to it. And that'll be my turn. All right. Banpri. All right. Uh, first, it has to, <clears throat> because I'm raging, take my... Eh. It succeeded. Still takes half. <clears throat> so it takes one point of light. Don't damage. forget your target again. Right. That always gets me. Okay. And I'm going to recklessly attack it. Okay. That's a hit. 
as you do 15 points of damage. Oh, That's a crit. Oh, oh, yeah. I'd like to use my orb. Go ahead. Uh, that's on. Click that off. Okay. Good damage. I want to shatter this thing into a million pieces. <laughs> as you dead? do 29 points of damage and it's holding oh, on. My God. Okay. All right. Well, that's me. And it's its turn. Pretty Tina's sure. turn. Oh, Tina. Oh. Get it, Tina. Get it. It's looking pretty weak, so I'm just going to firebolt it. All right. Do it a firebolt. That's wow. a hit. All right. Uh, that was that. I forgot to do the ley lines. Oh, well. And it's dead. I killed it. Burn. <laughs> How just much like that scorch mark on it. How much did it have left? Nine. Okay. Nine. Uh, looted, I guess? It probably has nothing on it. Does it look like there's any more is, coming? Yeah, is there sound like any more this way? Uh, as you kind of take a moment, look around, um, it seems that, uh, things quiet down. Um, those with the stupid passive high, uh, perception. Mm -hmm. Uh, you kind of look and you see like some of the deer and whatnot kind of look your way and then scamper off. You, you kind of put together that this uh, undead minotaur was probably scaring the wildlife and that's why it sounded so loud. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Continuing onward. Onward! Uh, I think onward. the minotaur doesn't have anything on it, so yeah. Yeah, it's just an undead minotaur. That got lost in the sea of undead. Now it's a dead undead minotaur. <clears throat> All right. So you guys are able to make it almost to the river and you kind of get get some good not sleeps. Especially Marina because she's by water again. Wait, we're by the river. Can I sleep in the water? <laughs> sure. Hell. <laughs> Y'all are just like, Marina's just like, peace! <laughs> <laughs> she just goes underwater for the night. <laughs> I, I class can't plant grow, so plants ground me to making a bed. <laughs> Alright. The next day goes by without a hitch. And, uh, the day after that, you actually arrive uh, right near um, the town Creepy of town. do you guys sleep in the town or outside the town outside the town sounds good i don't i don't understand why but sure Look, yeah, the I last time we were good. here there were some shadow things that nearly killed banpre wouldn't we want shelter then no they snuck up on him in his sleep <laughs> who was watching uh I can't remember what was going on. Banpri was on. Banpri was sleeping in a queen bed by himself. And everyone else was at the forge. Everyone else was at the forge. Why and didn't did we still Banpri go by himself? He insisted. Look, you guys met Banpri. How is he alive? It's, look, because after all of these dumb instances, he's slowly starting to learn that he's not invincible. She says as Banpri is hacking away at some vines ahead of them, oblivious to this conversation. <laughs> Hack. <He's>... Hack. <laughs> Wait. Hack. Banpri, how are you hacking through? How is he hacking through all of that? <laughs> with, with a giant hammer? I'm hitting it really hard. I can't wait for Nick to roll under 10 for the rest of the game now. <laughs> yeah, come on, Nick. <laughs> so, you guys start your rest. Banpri, your watch goes by without a hitch. Yay. Cole. Yeah? Make a perception check. <laughs> Get right. Uh, so. I mean, I'm, uh... I don't have a negative in that. <laughs> You have inspiration. I do. That's for the fight. <laughs> Look, maybe it's a good thing you missed whatever it is. 
I feel totally comfortable sleeping <laughs> knowing that Cole's out there keeping a watchful eye. Not gonna let anything sneak up on me and Man, this new scar hurts sometimes. Pokes so, that thing that scar that I died from. Cole. Yeah. Some time goes by during your watch. You don't realize it as you're you're kinda poking that scar and it's kinda like can't believe I'm alive. And you realize it once it gets within, you know, 50 feet because it's pretty, pretty huge. Um, but one second, let me just pull this back up. We'll put you guys in here. What do you mean back up? Are you talking about the battle map? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was a no, no enemy. It's like, it's the thing Vampire tried to kill it and then realize, oh shit, this is out of our league. No. This is infinitely more fun. Oh. As oh. you see, as it gets closer... Oh, yeah, I prepared the wrong spell. Yeah, about 40 feet away. A large skeletal T-Rex looking right at your direction and its head is uh kind of crooked i'm gonna uh, scream okay guys time to move uh what what i what? wake up and see what the problem is we're gonna roll into initiative as you scream that out <laughs> oh that makes I'm sense doing good with initiative holy shit uh, uh, tina saved my life Banpri, you are rudely awoken by uh, Cole yelling, "We need to move!" And okay, um, so you're prone. Oh, I'm prone <laughs> because you were sleeping. Right, I stand up. That and, leaves me with what, like twenty-two and a half. So twenty. Twenty. Okay. And you see a large skeletal T-Rex coming, looking right at your party. I'm going to interpose myself as as tank do. And just seeing this thing really fucking angers me because it, I mean, fucking look at it, right? Like that badass border around it and shit. <laughs> like, how dare oh, you have a cooler oh, border than me? Fuck. How okay. fucking dare you? I just pulled up the map again. Wow. Just that, that, that image. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to rage <laughs> and interpose myself. Can I roar at this thing to try and intimidate it? Like, just, like, fuck off, I'm... You want to use I'm, your action to try and intimidate a skeletal T-Rex? You know, when you say it like that... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead. I would, like, I would like to roar at the skeletal T-Rex. Go ahead and make an intimidation check. <laughs> I had a plus five, you know, I probably should have held my action to do something useful like attack, but like, you know, I, I kind of don't want to fight a that thing. As you roar, you hear, <laughs> the main goal of that also is to hopefully get it to focus on me and not my prone party members that are about to get eaten. So Fair. yeah, that, that's my turn. Fair. So that's your turn. Looks like you raged and whatnot. Cool. Cool. It's its turn next. Yeah, oh. yeah, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. It rolled a 20 on initiative. Hmm. Just hoping I'd go before an initiative of 19. So, David? Yeah? It doesn't have Misty Step, right? No. <laughs> okay. We're it, fine. It does not. Uh, but I do need to... Pull something else up. There it is. All right, cool. Please tell me it doesn't have a breath attack. No, 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 no. Uh, so it's gonna go in for a bite attack on Bampri. That makes sense. Uh, that's a twenty-eight to hit. That's a that's a fucking what? <laughs> As it does forty-three reduced to twenty-one damage. Oh my god. <laughs> and you're grappled and restrained mm. in its mouth. Mm. That's a lot of damage, guys. And then the tail is going to whip around and uh, try and hit Cole. And it misses. 
Hooray. Should um, I be that guy that points out he's supposed to be prone? He was on watch, so... Yeah, he was... Oh, all right, watch. he was on watch, I forgot. Yep. <clears throat> so that's going to be his turn. Tina. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see Bampri in its mouth. I do. Fireball it. <laughs> we can heal you. Mm, I would. I would prefer. I would prefer if you didn't fireball it. Fireball it. Because that would kind of hit Bampri. Oh, so. Fireball its butt. <laughs> May I say, it was really hard to find a usable picture for its skeletal T-Rex, surprisingly. Hmm. I can't... Oh, I could do mean moonbeam. That'd be good. But, yeah, I might stick with what my party says and... Fireball! <laughs> well, connecting to the ley line, as per usual. All right. Yep. And weak ley lines. Correct. Uh, something different. Are different. Ah! It can't hear us. Do you mean it can, it's my DC, my DC for the saving throw? Yeah. Good, it can't hear us now. And I would uh, position the fireball where it doesn't hit Banpree. Fair. Also, uh, this thing's immune to being deafened, so... Yeah. <laughs> I, it's made out of bones. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting much out of it. <laughs> Alright, I'm targeting it. Roll. Uh, it failed. As you do uh, 23 points of damage. More ones in there than I'd hoped for, Kyle. Well, uh, I, listen... I'm on my off game. I woke up to a rightful presence. <laughs> I'm going to bonus add Guardians of Nature myself. Because. Whoop. I didn't play that twice. As you know. <laughs> I'm going to. And then for my movement, I have 15, 5, 10. And I'm 15 feet away. All right. Cool. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was beginning. See, this is why I yeah. saved inspiration. Um, I'm going to go up, and uh, I'm going to try to hit it. All right. I'm using a point of inspiration for the first attack here. Uh, that That's a crit. Cool. Um, Disarming strike. Please drop Banpri. <laughs> so you're trying to hit it, jump up and hit its uh, face to try and knock Banpri free? Yep. All right. So first of all, it takes 23 points of damage, which you were not targeting for Seriously? any of that. I'll drag the damage on, but learn to target. Um, I think I targeted it, and then I targeted it at the beginning of my turn with untargeted it. Possibly. Well, that's probably what happened. Also, Cole, you notice that it did not take as much damage as you, you think it should have from that attack. Okay. Well, it's skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> it succeeded. It of rolled a 14. Of course it did. Um, second oh. inspiration point. Second attack. That's a hit. Disarming strike. <laughs> Fair. As you do, uh, I'll do some damage. Go ahead and roll that save. I know the first item I'm buying at a shop when we get out of here. It succeeded. A quarter staff? Something for cold use to bludgeon these fucks to death. All I right. want to so... buy him the best magical mace. <laughs> Action search. <laughs> get it. Third attack. <clears throat> okay. That's a Aww. miss. Fourth attack. That's a hit, though. All right. Wait, a 19's a miss? No, I said no, that's a hit. No, so, sorry. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, I think it's more useful to have. Bampri out of its goddamn mouth. <laughs> you do some damage. Yeah, it failed. It rolled in that one. Okay, so I dropped Bampri. Yep, so oh Bampri, you are no longer uh, grappled and restrained. Yay. Um, I'm guessing being dropped. Or would it, he land on his feet? He'd land. He, he'd he be prone, but I mean, Bampri's turn is before the skeletal T-Rex, so it's fine. Fair. Alright, Cole, that's your turn. Marina. Yep. Stand up. Moves over. <laughs> Grabs my good old quarter staff. <laughs> um. Shillelagh? No, I don't have Shillelagh. I do have Draconic Smite, though. That's fair. <laughs> so, I'm gonna use Draconic Smite, and it's just whenever I hit next, right? Like, if I don't hit this turn, it will still be there? Correct. Yeah, the next time you hit. Yeah, I'm gonna use Draconic Smite at second level. Okay. So that would, if the next time I hit, I get 2d6 cold. Yep. Uh, that's nope. a miss. That's why it's the next time I hit. <laughs> Fair. All right. Banpri. I stand up. All right. And it's going to... Storm, bro. Second, I have to maneuver my sheet here. Uh, eh. Oh, I'm not targeting it. Let's try that again. Eh. Uh, it failed. It takes that whole two damage. Ooh, scary. And then I'm going to recklessly, recklessly attack this thing. Do it. Against my better judgment. That's a hit. Oh, thank God. As, uh, it seems that, uh, it didn't do as much damage as you thought it should. Oh. Oh. With adamantine. Oh, no. Or you see, it has super adamantine bones. Clearly. No. Oh, no. It, it's because adamantine is different from magic. <laughs> okay. I'm I, going to... I'm buying to... you both a magic mace. I mean, I'm going... I love that. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. I'm going to drop my maul and use my claws. Okay. That's a hit. Wait, your claws magical? Did As, that do all the damage? <laughs> uh, it did part of the damage. It did more damage than your claws normally would. One second, apparently my you mouse, You sound far away. My mouse, I accidentally kicked the cord. He yeeted it. Hold on, technical difficulties. <laughs> Put up the screen. I can't. Yeah, my mouse isn't working. Now. Oh, you God know, damn it. I'm gonna go grab some corn. I'll be right back. The one time we get to use it, and we can't because your mouse is broken. This cannot be happening. That's actually I it was on great. Back though. <laughs> You don't have it like a like a hot bar you can press to put that bad boy up. All right, hi chat. How you guys doing? All right, did that fix it? I got my mouse back. Oh, never mind, David. I, I think fixed it. I never programmed the button for the technical difficulty screen. You fool! That's the first <laughs> button you should program. Yeah, that should be button number one. All right. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, Banpri, it seems that uh, your cl your claws, your normal damage seemed resistant, but the extra damage was not. Okay. Cool. I have my pop. Welcome back. Alright. So, Banpri, that's your turn. Yep, and it's going to be the last turn I get. <laughs> 
Uh, the T-Rex isn't happy, so it's going to use its bonus action. Uh, let's see here. It's what? It's bonus action. I mean, action. Oh, everything no. has a bonus Misty action. Step. No, it's not Misty Step. Uh, <laughs> Cole. Yeah. A clacking skeleton comes out of its mouth as it ejects it from oh, its mouth. Oh, so it's a reflavored <laughs> undead. Okay. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> and so that's its bonus action. Uh, it's going to bite Banpri. That's a hit. <sighs> Come on, Banpri. So that's 41 reduced to 20. It and keeps doing the same amount of damage to me. Grappled and restrained. And the tail is going towards Cole. Which that's a hit. Which does 32 points of damage. Ah, I see. Tina. Fireball us. I am going to use my action to summon my wildfire spirit. All right. By fire. Uh, it's going to be... Go ahead and place okay. it wherever you want. Right there. To be my only way of healing you guys because I'm getting close. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, um, I marked that off. I think I can actually do anything as in bonus action. So, um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. So it'd be. The wildfire, right? Yes. Oh, it's going to shoot a flaming seed at the boy. Do it. That's a miss. miss <clears throat> Alright, that's that's its turn. Alright, Clacking Skeleton's turn. It's going to try and gore you. Gore? Yeah. It's going to try All and right. use its horns to gore you. Uh, which it hits. Doing five points of damage. Okay. Uh, and it's right. your turn, Cole. Um. Let's do a test swing against the skeleton real quick and see how tough this thing is. All right. <clears throat> um. That's a miss. It's immortal. <laughs> All right. I guess second attack. That's a hit. Um, I'm going to make this one a commander's strike. Marina, you said you had a plan, right? What? Um, what is Commander Strike? So, um, you can go ahead and immediately use your reaction to try to attack something. Okay, yeah, I can and do that. If you hit, you get an extra D8. Okay. That's apparently I did have a plan. Uh, okay, so David, I don't know how to do the two D6 cold and then oh. the. Uh, she put on the extra D8. Because it has an effect that'll give me one D8, but I don't know. Here, it should... Um, If you apply the uh, effect twice, it will do the uh, 2D6. Okay. So now, now roll damage? Yes. I see. The skeletons have more health than I thought that he would. Oh, that's not good. As uh, you do, uh, you do quite a bit of damage there. The little ones are tougher than they look. I'm worried about the big one that spits out the little ones. And that'll be. I believe that's your turn. I could do one more thing, but eh, we'll leave we'll leave it for one more round. What's the worst?
worst that could happen. All right, Marina. I hate that you said that. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. So Banpre is in its jaws right now, right? Correct. Okay. We're gonna use a third level healing word on Banpre then. Okay. Just because disadvantage on Banpre right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Banpre, you feel some healing wash over you. I'm still Even waking up, I... you see. <laughs> That's a bonus action, though, so I can still try and hit it. Do it. Do it a smite. Do it a hit. Not a smite. I do don't it a have hit. smite, unfortunately. You hit! As you whack it, and it takes some damage. I'm assuming not as much as I thought, because it's not a magical weapon. Correct. Yep. Alright. Bampri. You can are I do anything? Restrained. You can try and attack it while you're in its mouth. It's just disadvantage, you know. Hmm, what if I recklessly attack it while I'm in its mouth? Well, then that's a normal hit. I <clears> will <throat> do exactly that. Well, first, it's going to... You see, I have a uh, an electric flavor here, so... Just swinging around wildly in its mouth. That's a success. Embedding its teeth further, further <laughs> into you. So it took three lightning damage. Okay, um, one second here. You were not targeting. Do you want me to reroll? Yes, please. Okay. That is a miss. That is a hit, though. As you do uh, some damage. All right, that's my turn. I, I was going to use claws, and I forgot all about it. So, yeah, that, that's me. All right. Well, I mean, it's just gonna, it's just gonna keep biting you, Bampri. Uh, so that's a twenty-six to hit. As that is thirty-nine reduced to nineteen damage. And then the tail is gonna, uh, take a swing at Marina. This time, that's a hit. So that is thirty-three points of damage. And then, as a bonus action, you see uh, another skeleton form off of its leg. And this one is going to appear there. Tina. Kyle, you're muted. So I am. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything, I was just thinking. Uh, I couldn't do that without hitting teammates to try and get off of them. Um, If I moved on to go like that, I'd be able to hit the skeletons, three of them, without hitting all, or would we miss one of the skeletons? You would miss one of the skeletons right. if you're trying to yeah. avoid hitting all. All right. Um, let's see. Could do that, but that makes me more of a target, and I don't want it at this moment. <laughs> moment i will stick my original plan of fireballing fireball. Get it. do it like that so hopefully it doesn't hit banpri yeah it wouldn't hit banpri uh and it's on connecting to the ley lines that that's a that's a 20 you're very connected to the ley lines yeah unfortunately it doesn't help the ley line yeah you are one with the ley lines Oh my god. Well, problem is, it's a fireball, not a cold ball. 
Yep. I like the prayer of the grand to make this eye damage. No, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> I can doesn't mean she'll answer. <laughs> she'll probably just slap me the next time I see her. So the clacking skeleton failed and the skeletal T Rex succeeded. Mm, still damage. That's a good damage roll too. Is that better for damage, guys? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, Proud of you, Kyle. Probably gonna move right there, ish. All right. In case my my worst fears come to light. Spirit. And yep, it's it will. Uh, I see far one. That's a hit. Irish? Is it just three points of damage? I I'm proud of you, though. You hit. <laughs> All right. Number six. Well, it's it's going to take a step up and try and hit Marina with its gore attack. Yep. I forgot to text. That's a off. miss. All right, number 12. Going to try and hit Cole with its gore attack. This isn't even my final four. Cole. I really hate to do this. Well, we're going to go ahead and burning hands. Okay. Oh, why? Do I target Bamprey? Uh, no, Bamprey's in his mouth up above getting chomped on. Okay. So you'd be able to aim it low enough. Uh, they both failed. Um... David, I have two different damages on this for some reason. Mm hmm. Why do you have a 40 did you, I was about to say, did you do something? Cause, no. All right. Yeah, I don't know why that's there. I'm going to just go with the... Yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, you killed the clacking skeleton. Yeah, that was the plan. And the T-Rex takes some damage. Um, Sorry about this, Van Preet. I'm going to go ahead and bonus action. Now, second wind. Uh, there is a number of things going on there. Fail. Fail. Clacking skeleton 12 succeeded. All right. Oh, Van Free. Van Free is critical. I missed it. What? Oh, his second wind. Yep. Okay, yeah. As fire just erupts as uh, he heals a bit. All right. Marina. Oh, would, that, would the wildfire spirit have taken damage from that? I forgot. It, no. That. It's a mute fire. Yeah, it's uh, a that's what fire, I figured, so but I had that. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm hmm. For right now, we're going to. Didn't mark that off. Banpri is heavy. Banpri is critical. Banpri is critical. I'm heavy. I miss low run. <laughs> <laughs> I miss low run. I miss Nell. I also miss Nell so much. <laughs> But I've missed low run right now. <laughs> um. Okay, Balm of the Summer Court. I can only throw one at one person, right? A turn, right? Correct. That is a bonus action. Well, however many at one person. Yeah. Um. Good healing word again. 
so your bomb of the summer court should have seven since of your level up. There we go. Oh, sorry. It hasn't uh, come up, and I was like, that looks like six, not seven. Well, it still had three the other day. Like, the not the other day, but well, the last time we played. You know, I can't keep <laughs> track of everything. Uh, okay. I'm gonna heal... Ban Prey. I can't reach Ban Prey, right? No, he it's is up in the air. Yeah, he's up in the mouth. Yeah, okay. We're gonna just healing. No, we're gonna use three bomb of the summer quartz on him, but I don't know how to do that. Because that every time I roll it it's uh plus two. Uh I mean you can just roll the heal three times and then roll. yeah but it has a plus two to it yeah that's uh entirely because of uh your thing that's how it's supposed to be okay there's one that's a good one that's, that's not, not so one. but nick put six temp on you I put uh, on. okay thank you <clears throat> and then i'm going to keep swinging futilely Swing, 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 swing. That's a That's mess. inspiration. Yes, well, let's spare them for a change. Yes, spare the skeletal T-Rex. <laughs> Bampri. I am gonna recklessly... <laughs> well, first it takes my aura, so let's do that. It failed! Good, take all of that five damage. Woo! Look, that's better than nothing. And, yeah, I'm going to recklessly swipe my claws at it. That's a hit. That's, that's some damage. That's, that's a miss. Oh, no. Well, um, you're embarrassed of your hit, or if you miss. You receive a minus two penalty to attack rolls against uh, oh. the target until you successfully hit the target with an attack. God damn it. Okay, so I'll put ne minus two in the modifier. Yep. Okay. All right, so that's your turn. Guess what? It's chomping time! That's a hit. As that is 31 reduced. You're, you're still alive. Good for you. Did I save your life? He's not even critical at the moment. No, I'm. I've got a little bit left. <laughs> Sort of. it, it definitely helped. He, he may be, cl he may have went down if it wasn't for the healing. Who knows? Hard to say. Tail attack towards Cole. As he's just whipping around back and forth. Uh huh. And there oh, is all right. thirty-one points of damage. That. What? You didn't say it hit. Oh, I did. It must not have gone through. And then... Oh, you're right. Clacking skeleton! <laughs> Tina. Um... is critical so I am going to cast cure wounds at the third level to and it gets an additional one for having my uh, uh, rose out mm -hmm. and who are you healing Cole okay That's Cole is critical 22 points of healing Cole hooray wow that right. was past heavy wow that was a that was a good one. Yes, it was. Um, seeing the skeletons over there, I'm just gonna slowly make my way this way. <laughs> It'll be my turn. Okay. Spirit's turn. It's gonna gonna hopefully hit the cl close skeleton. That's a hit. Hmm. I almost dropped that on Cole. It's hitting. I'm happy. Yeah, 
does that does three points of damage. Yep. Packing skeleton number twelve gonna go to Cole. No, it's not Cole. Okay. Um. Attack one. That's a hit. All right, that's good. Um. Drop it. That does some damage. It succeeded. Just barely, but it succeeded. Bad dinosaur. <laughs> oh, that's a mess. Okay. All right. Number 14. Boop. Gore attack. That's a miss. Marina. Um... Sorry, I'm just looking at my stuff. I'm I need to heal people is really what I need to do. Nah, they're fine. But ban is grappled and restrained constantly. <laughs> He's fine. He's not. He'll be fine. He's fine. He's what the thing tongue is what he's doing. <laughs> what tongue? Exactly. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm gonna disengage. Uh, and that means I have half my movement, right? No. No, that's just your action. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and bonus action heal Banbury again. Yeah, Banbury. I have a plan, guys. I promise. Uh, I sure hope. <laughs> Second level. You know, min max. There's only so much I can do. <laughs> All right, Banpri. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, I'm still targeting. Okay, uh, it's in for a shock. Yeah, it went to critical. Ooh, that means I need to recklessly claw at it more. That's, That's a, a miss. That's a okay. hit. A hit? Okay, good. <laughs> as you do some damage, as you just dig your claw deep into its bones. And that's my turn. Time to yeah. get nom. Nom, 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 nom. That's a crit. <laughs> uh, well, bad so, so now I die. As that is oh. 101 reduced to 50. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> David. So, my max is 88. David. Well, wait, so if I wasn't raging, that would have killed me? Yes. Well, no, oh. you had 34 hit points. Okay, you would have still been. You would have been unconscious, but you. If it would have done it to any of the squishies, yes. You don't say. All right. Well, tail attack against Cole because Marina and moved out of the way. Actually, 101 points would not instill me. From from my my current max HP is, that's good. I'm and saying like if you were as wounded as Bampri was, it would. Oh yeah. Me. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, so it misses Cole. Okay. And bonus action. Let me throw another one of these guys on there. Blap. All right, so I can't read Ban Pre with heals <laughs> because I only have your wounds. So I'm going to cast a new spell of mine instead. Uh, I didn't need to do that, but this extends out to 30 feet. And I'm going to be casting Aura of Life. 
Fucking what is man. this? Does this do me a good? Life preserving energy from you in a fiery aura with a 30 foot radius. Until the spell ends, the aura moves with you, center down. Each non high creature in the aura, including you, has resistance to necrotic damage and its points maximum can't be reduced. In addition, a non-hostile living creature gains one hit points when it starts to turn within the aura with zero hit points. Okay, so you'll get one hit point on the start of your turn, Bampri. Which Yay. is as good as any heal you're going to get. <laughs> Just don't let it crit you again, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'll just... Yeah, a crit from a T-Rex's bite is nasty. Uh, that just put it on yourself, I think. What? You the targeted aura? everyone, and then yeah. you put the... the concentration. Yeah. It... We don't, I don't think we have to worry about the necrotic. No. Mm. It's kind of more of a reminder for me. How many... Did I target anyone, or did you guys already no. take it off? No, it says resist necrotic only. Any That's what I was trying to say. Oh. It didn't work the way you wanted it to. Oh, oh okay. Probably because it's an effect of self. I've, I've done applied effects to other people, though. No, uh, if the effect... If the effect is uh, labeled as self, it will never apply to anybody else. No, that's what I'm saying. I've It's probably a direct option instead of clicking. Could be. But I'm just, that's, it, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's a, it's a reminder, for, and you know, I need the concentration. Yes. Uh, I moved over a little bit, and that's my turn. At Wildfire Spit. Cool, it's going to kind of move there to intercept. Oh, so it moves? Yeah, it does. All right, its tail is good. Uh, the T-Rex's tail is going to hit it. Is it moves out of its threat range. That's a hit. As uh, it takes 41 points of damage. And it's dead. Yes, it is. That's how much it was doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hurts. I, I take five set five foot damage. <laughs> Fair. All right. Gore attack. That's a miss. Cole. Um, I'm gonna be entirely honest. Bamfrey's probably safer in that thing's mouth. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, All right, Bamfrey. Say goodbye to your rage. Do I? Yeah. Um, is it everyone who starts their turn, every ally in their turn that starts yes. in their game to hit point? So I get a hit point, right? Yep. No, no, uh, when you have oh, zero. Zero, zero. Oh, okay. is it specifically yeah. when you have zero? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Um. All right. All right. So... This basically just prevents Banfrey from dying. Well, that's a crit. I said drop it. <laughs> As you do uh, quite a bit of damage. Dear God, Cole. Uh, it succeeded. Of course it does. <laughs> It's better. It's honestly better that way, Nick. <laughs> that way they attack me. Uh, that's a hit. You do a little bit of damage. All right. Clacking skeleton fourteen is going to gore you. That's a hit. Take that one d four damage. Marina. Okay. Well, there went my plan when Banbury went down. <laughs> See, it's funny Actually, cause... I, in theory, could still make it work. Now, if I ice knifed 
this little clacky skeleton 14. I have I know that it would hit um coal, but would it hit Banbury? Shouldn't. No. But it would hit coal. It That's would fine. Hit coal. That's fine. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to Balm of the Summer Court. Ban pre. Okay. Um, two of those. Maybe you can uh, you forgive yourself now. four, Tom. Oh, okay. Uh, already okay. there. Okay. Look, I have them, and I can still ice knife now. <laughs> Uh, one, two. two. Would, oh wait, no, I can't. Do his heels on coal, though. I mean, I'd appreciate them, but you know. I fine. would also, yeah, but it, it's fine. <laughs> okay. So anyway, ice knife. That's a crit. Let's do the damage to number fourteen, which is. 11 points of damage, min-maxing, you know. Of course. And then... Uh, success, fail, success, success. The only person so... that failed was a clacking skeleton. Now, they still take half, right? Uh... Or does it... Do they just dodge? Uh... I think it's a hit or miss. Yeah, yeah that's because... a hit or miss. Really? Uh, which... It's already detargeted the ones that succeeded, so... Just roll the damage. All right. As the one that was hit with the knife initially just took the full, full brunt of the damage. Yep. <laughs> Into its rib cage, you see. All right, Bampri, your eyes awaken after being chomped viciously. Yeah, I stand up. Um, Except I'm you're still well. grappled and restrained. Oh, I am. Yeah. That makes me really mad. I'm gonna rage. <laughs> Uh, that might just save my life. So when I do that the first time, oh, I gotta target it. It still takes my storm aura because yep. it activates when I. It succeeded. Well, it's taking one point of damage anyway, <laughs> and I'm going to recklessly fucking <laughs> claw this thing to death. That was uh, almost a twenty. You weren't. You weren't targeting it. Right, it keeps... You want me to re-roll that? Mm -hmm. You hit. Die. As you do a bit of damage. And... Huh. Oh. Oh. That's, that's a crit. Apparently we want this thing dead. <laughs> but, I'd like to use my orb. <laughs> but will this kill it? Please. Okay, so it's chopping me, and I would like to take my claw and shove it up through the roof of its fucking mouth. All right, roll that damage and see if... That's a lot of ones. <laughs> kind of min mashed it. Ooh. Yeah? It's, it's still alive, but not, not by much. <laughs> so I just shove my hand up through the roof of its mouth, and it, like, gets shocked or something. Yep. Oh, here comes my death. I did try to heal you, man. Fair. Wait, what? The skeleton goes before the T-Rex? Uh, Hi, I Tina. See. Hi. Gore attack! That's a hit. Mm -hmm. Take a D4 damage. Hey, you succeeded. Alright, T-Rex. It's nom nom time! That's a hit. But it's not a crit, so you don't have to worry too much. As that's 58 reduced to 25. And you are no longer raging. <laughs> and I am. It's just, you know, in, in my dream. Tail attack. That's a hit. Oh, good. As that is 35 points of damage and Cole goes down. Oh, uh, nice going, you guys. Yep. Tina. Yep. <laughs> Tina, we need to get up there. I can't. Uh, Shillelagh. <laughs> Whack. That's a hit. 
All right, and this does one eight stop. Um, do you you don't have that coded properly? Oh, I don't. Shit. That's untyped damage instead of bludgeoning damage, like it's supposed to be. I yeah, I ended up forgetting to do that. I can. Cool. Because you notice, at least on this thing, it does more damage than it should than you thought it should. Ah! Hit it with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I, I should code in. Uh, is it comma magic? Uh, comma magic. Uh, number twelve is going to try and gore the uh, corpse of. I'm not a corpse yet. <laughs> That's a hit. That's not good. So that's two failures. Yep. Uh, but Cole, it's your turn, and oh, you get one oh, point of thank God. one point yep. of. I was thinking another one went before me. You see? Nope. I am the ultimate healer. So <laughs> you are prone. <laughs> no, this isn't right. gonna work very long. I spit blood. <laughs> I said. Drop it. I, I don't have any more things, but. <laughs> that's a hit. That's a bit of damage. That's a miss. Neat. That is what inspiration. That, for? that is inspiration. Yeah, I'll see if I get a chance to use it. <laughs> Here comes a gore attack. That's a miss. Marina. Good. Uh, now if I lay on her two bolted, <laughs> there'd be a lot of death. Would would the ban pre be in the crossfire? Where where would you be aiming it? I. I'll be honest. This thing's probably shaking me around like a rag doll. I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> I mean, you're up higher. Yeah, you could do that. It would it hit Bampery? It would not. <laughs> uh, fail, fail, success. Do that damage. How how would you like to kill the skele skeletal T Rex? It's for just the skeleton blows apart. <laughs> but... All right. Well, that works uh, well because as it blows apart. Yeah. I don't know these monsters, yeah. man. <laughs> I mean, no one would know this monster. I made it myself. Uh, I, I have I, a general I, idea. I did base it off something, but I did make it. Boop, boop. Uh, and boop, boop. All right, so let's remove that. And Banpre, you, f your body falls to the ground as God. uh four more clacking skeletons show up where its body was at. Cool. Now my bonus action is to use my last two balm of the summer court die uh on Banpre, except for I forgot that I'm in combat. One second. <laughs> That's probably a good call. Give yourself four temp. <laughs> Bampri, your your eyes wide awake, you're no longer in the jaws of a skeleton T-Rex, but you see a bunch yeah. of skeletons around you. You guys have questions, you know. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger! Should I do this healing potion? Potions nah. like We've Wait. got healers. Oh no. So here comes a gore attack. That's He's not grappled with the strain, but he should be prone still. Yeah. Yeah. I rolled with advantage. Made sure okay. I rolled with advantage. Um so that's a miss. Um, but it's gonna take up pick up one of the uh the leftover bones from uh the T Rex and hit you with it. Hmm? <laughs> it misses. 
Bampri. Okay, I stand up. Mm. Banpri wouldn't use a potion, even though it would be smart. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Have you met him? I am going to... I'm never yeah. giving him another potion. <laughs> I'm going to rage, because this makes me upset. <laughs> this oh makes Banpri upsetty. Uh, so this one takes my storm aura. It succeeded. It okay, and it's gonna detarget it, right? Yep. Okay, and I'm going to recklessly, as Van Pre do, claw this thing to pieces. That's a hit. Die. As uh, you bring your claw in, it does the same amount of damage as you think it should. Looks at claws. Where's my maul? I did drop it. Can I pick that up or no? Yeah. Okay. Picks up the maul for the second whack. That's a hit. As that does a lot more damage than it normally would. All right. Nods approvingly at maul. That's my turn. All right. Number three is going to mm -hmm. take a gore attack at you. That's a hit. Take a d4 damage. Take that five damage. Take it. All right, Tina, your turn. Cool. Whack. That's a hit. Fuck. As you do 14 points of damage, and it's not looking great. Why won't you die? <laughs> That's my turn. Hi, Banpri. This it's one... Funny. This one picks up a piece of the skeletal T-Rex, and then... When, whenever it's like a clacking skeleton's turn, now I'm like, oh, who's getting hit, me or Cole? <laughs> uh, so the gore misses, so it's going to hit you with the bone of the uh, T-Rex. It's going to try. It's going to crit. Oh, God. <laughs> of course. As it does uh, 15 reduce to, uh, you know, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh. Barely did any damage to you. <laughs> No, that that definitely hurt. <laughs> Listen, the temp hit points absorbed it for the most part. Uh, so that's its turn. Okay, you're not supposed to be here. Goodbye. Uh, Bro, no. This one picks up a piece of the T-Rex. Oh, my God. First, it's going to go in for a gore attack. What is Miss. love? And going to go in for the bone attack. Stop boning Miss. me. All right, here comes a gore on uh, Cole. Yeah, it's yeah, miss. hit him some. Cole. All right. Um. Now that the things here will hit under the amount that it's going to heal, I will drink the greater healing potion. <laughs> Fair. The fuck, it wouldn't matter with the T-Rex. No, not really. So... Fourteen points. Not bad. It'll keep you alive for a bit. Yep. That's the plan. It says your bonus action. You just delete that. Alright. Let's start with you. That's a hit. And that's a death. Now you. That's a miss. And I'm just moved to here. <clears throat> All right. Number 21 is going to gore Cole's back. That's I'm a hit. I'm going to scream. It's fine. I drank a healing potion. And then it picks up a bone. And that's a hit. <clears throat> uh, dealing 12 points of damage. Glad I drank that healing potion. <laughs> Marina. Oh my god. Oh, I did not So, nice healing spirit dropped right on top of Cole. <laughs> Alright. Does that oh. heal him right now? Yeah. Yeah, first one, and then... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... 
that's my. Last. I appreciate you, Kyle. Just so you know, you're 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 the backup plan. Yeah. Here's the thing. They can go in between. This is literally just to. Yep. This is to keep me from getting lots yeah. of death saves. Death saves. Like Kyle, yeah. we're we're team no, working no. this. No, I was trying to figure out. Because it happened at the beginning of Cole's turn. I forgot it happened on your turn. That's also, what I was going to ask. There's a lot more, just so you guys yeah. know. <laughs> cool. Cool. Nope. That's a miss. <clears throat> All right. Number 16. It's going to take a gore attack on Bampri. That's a hit. Does a point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes the bone attack. That's a hit. Wait, guys. As that's reduced to five oh. damage. Oh. You don't want to know how much health I have. <laughs> one? Yeah, yeah, one. What exactly? All right, Bampri, All what right. are you doing? I'm going to whack a mole. Well, first. Please, I'm actually... please. You can take my storm. That's a fail. Mora. You can take. Really? <laughs> Uh, All right. Um, so I'm a recklessly attack. I mean, uh, you have one hit point. It doesn't matter, right? That's a exactly. hit. Exactly. As that's uh, 22 oh, points of damage. Alive. All right. Take another one. That's a hit. Die. It is dead. Yeah. See? All good. All good. I'll be fine. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. Number three. Gore attack on Tina. That's a hit. Oh, that's the one Tina's fighting. Take that six damage. All right, mm -hmm. Tina, what you doing? Um, I had to move Tina. It was bothering me so much that she was on a half square. Oh, that's because I'm my feet back. The man's not big enough. It's not my fault. I was trying to run for the terrifying thing. Whack. That's a hit. And that's a death. Cool. Tina! <laughs> Find a go there. Alright. And uh, prepare for my Im imminent demise. Here comes a gore attack. That's a 23 to hit. See, there you go, Tina. Now. <laughs> so. Now. Bampri's down, and here comes the bone attack on Bampri. Don't bone yeah. me. Don't bone me. That's a hit. Oh, I got You bone. reckless. Yeah, I did. Well, I mean, I'm down anyway. So, so that's two fails. Bone. Oh, crap. Yep. <clears throat> well, Bampri. <laughs> yeah, now you're dead. Here comes the gore. I mean, maybe it won't That's a me. miss. And here <laughs> comes the bone. Uh, you're not going to bone me. That's a crit. Oh, God. <laughs> So Banfrey's dead. Yeah. So how about those potions you love to drink? Uh, I got boned. You did. I got boned hard. <laughs> Number 12. Took damage yep. from Marina. So here comes the gore attack. That's a miss. Cole. Ah. <sighs> God damn it, Banfrey. <laughs> Stand up. I'm going to kill this one. That's a hit. <clears throat> That's not looking great. That's a hit. It's dead. Turns to this one. Move slightly over to try to shield Banfrey. Why? My healing spirit was there what you need healed for. <laughs> because then, you know, things might hit me instead of Banfrey tactics and <laughs> David? Yeah? I shifted it to your oh. turn. Was that both your attacks? 
Yes. Oh, I spaced out there. Okay. <laughs> well, Cole, here comes a gore attack on you. Yeah. That's a miss. Here comes a bone attack on you. That's a miss. That's good. Marina. Um. I just realized you crit me to death again. That's how I always die. <laughs> I did. Every single I'm time. Shift using my bonus action to shift my spell back on top of Cole. Okay. And then... I don't want to go over there, but like... <laughs> Cole is kind of surrounded. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go and try and smack. I hate myself for this. <laughs> That's a hit. As it did not like that amount of damage. <clears throat> yep. Oh. I already uh, used my bonus action to move, yep. so. Alright. So, as... Six seconds have gone around. Uh, Tina, you'd be the only one to notice as you're looking that way. Um, Banpri's body starts to vanish. As it, tur it starts vanishing and all that's left is his gear and equipment, including his maul. Tina, it's your turn. Mm hmm. I'm trying to decide how she's going to act with this new knowledge of what the fuck. Um. Put it aside for the moment. Burn anything else. Second level scoring ray. Oh! Oh, I didn't fail by more than five. Yeah, so. so. That's good. Uh, which was the last one to attack Band Pre? Was it, uh... It was 22. 22. Okay, cool. I'm gonna attempt to screen ray that one. Uh, that's a hit. Alright. And... The... Damage from the staff. It took some damage. Second one. That's a miss. And third one. That's also a mess. And so well, the schools have foretold. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. This one just moves uh, over here a little bit, and here comes a gore. Yep. That's a mess. Here comes the bone. That's also a miss. Darn okay. you and your high AC. Yeah, no, that plays into effect. Alright, and here comes a gore attack. That's a miss. And a bone attack. And that one hits. That is a hit. As that is a 22. As that is 11 points of damage, knocking you down. And you and get one hit point. Hey. And... 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 <laughs> It's a hit point and a heal, so... Six total HPs. There you go. Hey! I right. stand. Okay. Just uh, as he's about to fall, he puts a foot down and says, No. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Where the fuck did Banbury go? What? <laughs> All you <laughs> see is his backpack and maul. That idiot went and died after I saved his life. I'll kill him again. I, I have now how that's Tina's going to rationalize this. That's also a mess. Mm, that's not good. Number 21. Here's a Goron Marina. That's a hit. And here's a bone attack. It's a hit. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. That's max damage. All right, Marina. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to heal myself this turn. 
That's probably a good idea. Gonna use a third level to do it. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, you healed yourself 21 points. Okay, my... I already used a spell, so that's my turn, because my... Yeah, that's my turn. Tina! Um... That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna whack a bitch. Okay. That's, that's what I've decided I'm going to do, because I noticed how useful it was before. Fair. That's a hit. And I've been doing really well with hitting with it. Yeah. 20 points of damage. That's my turn. Alright. Well, it's going to turn to you as you just dealt it all the damage right. it took. Here comes the gore attack. That's a miss. Here comes the bone attack. Down, found me. That's a hit. <laughs> it's had five points of damage. And the great words of an idiot don't found me. Here's a gore against uh, you. Well, that's a hit. As that's four points of damage. And yeah. here comes the bone attack. That's also a hit. Yep. As uh, you're down. Yep. And now you're back up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Go ahead. Just, do your things, guys. This, this is ridiculous. No one's about to die except Ben <laughs> Um... Kyle, you got mm -hmm. your one. Oh, um. Uh, uh, Kyle's <laughs> just look. It's a hit. It's eight points damage. That's a hit. That's another eight points of damage. All right, number 21, Goron Marina. That's an at one. And here comes the boat attack, which is a miss. Marina. Okay. Gonna... We're gonna use inspiration on this one. Okay. Do it. I'm glad I hit. used it. Yeah. It's a hit. Oh, wait, that wasn't supposed to be kindness. That would still hit, though. Quarterstaff is plus seven. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. As you do 18 points of damage to it. Uh... Tina. <laughs> cool. Two wounds. Because I realized they have two attacks now. They've advanced. <laughs> All right, so that's your action. That's burn. All right. They are more advanced than the other ones. They hit twice. Gore <laughs> hits. <laughs> and here comes the bone. That's a nat one. Beautiful. Here comes the gore. That's a hit. And here comes the bone. That misses. Cool. So Banfrey stuff is like right next to me, right? Yeah. Grab a small, grab a small, grab a small. I was about to say, can I drop my shield and my my battle axe and grab a small? Yeah. I can't attune to it, but I can beat the shit out of some motherfuckers with it. Yeah, let me just for the moment, let me just grab a a maul. Throw it on you. Can you take my shield off? There you go. All right. This is for Banbury. That's a miss. And this one's for me. <laughs> That's <laughs> an even worse miss. You're not used to it yet. It's heavy with any way expecting. Oh, 
on number 21. Here comes the gore. That's a hit. Mm-hmm. Here comes the glaive. That's a miss. Marina. Is the spirit to you, or is it still on Cole? It's still on Cole. I just didn't realize it hit Cole's turn because I'm tired. So <laughs> that that belated take that one point. Right. I believe in you. I also <laughs> believe, isn't that the last of the healing? No, I've got one more round with it. It uh, has the concentration thing. We set it to the correct. Yeah, but how many times have you healed with it? It's only once per round. Uh, no, they, they, they made a one. change, remember? Yes, look at the D, like, it, it goes away. Like, we didn't, it's not also, 100 anymore. It, only heal, like, your, what, charisma? Yeah, heal a number of times equal to one plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Which is five. One. I believe that is if Hold on, it's passed already. Two. No. Yeah, four. Four, five, okay, yeah. Yeah, so... That's... I had to look hard, because, like, there was one that was, like, weird. They want to consider putting bubbles down for that. Well, yeah. well I'm saying for next time, make it easier. All right. So, it's your turn, I already Marie. got rid of it. Uh... Anyway, we're using my other inspiration. Okay. That's a hit. So you do 10 points of damage. Hey, it's better than nothing. Correct. That is absolutely correct. Tina. I'm going to whack this guy. That's a hit. That is 16 points of damage. Why won't you crumble? <laughs> and that's the turn. Gore. Miss. Bone. That's a twenty-two. Damn. Just just hit me. Just Take that barely. eleven points of damage. Oh. Why, David? <laughs> it's because it can. Gore attack. That's a nine. And a bone attack. That's a fifteen. That misses. Cool. I'm using my inspiration. Fair. Oh, fucking die, please. That's a hit. As you annihilate it to dust. Rising them all. <laughs> Next. That's a hit. As you annihilate it to dust. Next. <laughs> it's gonna continue goring Marina. That's a miss. So, bone attack. That's a miss. I don't think it's going to live to its next turn. <laughs> Maybe? Not with all this bludgeoning damage coming its way. That's a hit. It's 14 points of damage. Yep. Tina? Get shillelaid! Yeah, that's a hit. You say as it dies. <laughs> 24 points of damage. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be honest. I I thought you were just gonna be like, "Ow, oh, it's critical and it's the last one." Fireball. I don't have any more fireballs. You have a fourth level spell slot. No, I don't. Oh, you can that, that, for that. Ah, got it. Yeah. Well, he could have fire bolted. <laughs> <laughs> As the last clacking skeleton falls to the ground. Call collapses. 
So does Marina, but Marina's collapsing, sadly. And I know I will put a pep in your step. <laughs> Coughs up a bit of dried blood. <laughs> and then I go over to Van Fries. Remains his is um it's just his items it. yeah i know i mean it's still his the remains of him so marina you would remember that the last time there were deaths uh their relic was not was no longer there when you found their uh items yeah banpri's mall is still there next to his items in Cole's hand. In, in Cole's, Cole's hand. hand. Yes, in Cole's hand. Sorry. That's so, so, odd. Uh, um, Auntie Tina's just gonna fall down to her knees and start wailing. <laughs> Auntie Yuna, why would you take him so soon? <laughs> he was too young, Aunt Luna. <laughs> You're actually gonna make Marina cry. <laughs> I'm just he not a good enough beautiful. actress to get into it. <laughs> he was a beautiful blue boy, even though he was better red. <laughs> God, stop making me laugh while I want to cry. I can't get into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get out of this goddamn forest. No, think... so does Banpre carry anything that would be considered like a relic of him? Because like. I take She's confused bullshit. why his uh, mall is still there, but like, he disappeared. So, um, as uh, Auntie Tina's crying over no. Bamprey, I'm searching for stuff. So Yeah, like, I asked if there was anything in there. What are, what are you looking for, exactly? I don't know, just like, did he have like, a necklace or something that he just had like, a keepsake? Um, the only keepsakes you've seen me play with are the red and blue marbles, which are in his bag. And a blue marble. I will take the marbles. Okay. Um, Going for those potions. All right. Well, we yeah, will, have... We will deal with uh, looting his corpse next time. I think this is a good okay. point to good point to end the session. Man, we were just losing all that original art. <laughs> yeah. Oh, band pre, band pre, band pre. So, I'm gonna not drink the potion. I was gonna shove it down Cole's uh, mouth, but then I was like, no, damage would be more important. Uh, he he has three potions of healing on his in his inventory. Cool. But we'll deal with that next time. So, chat, thank you for joining us in this fun and exciting adventure of Emeron. Uh, I I was excited for the skeletal T-Rex. So was I, and then I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it spawns more? What do you mean it dies spawning more? <laughs> That's... It's a it's a reflavored zombie T Rex. It's yeah, that's yeah. like CR like nine or ten or something like that. Plus all the things it makes, which those are worse than zombies. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. The, the those clacking skeletons, the ones that spawn can only do one attack, which is a D four. They're more just hit point tanks to distract you. Yeah. Um, but this uh, skeletal T Rex, I definitely put at a CR eleven. It was definitely mm -hmm. a difficult encounter. Especially when it crits on a bite attack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, those are always scary. Yeah. I'm glad it didn't crit the tail. Yeah. I think the T-Rex only crit once. Good thing and it was now, on Banpri. Yep, and it oh, broke hey, over 100 yeah. damage. It yeah, 101, was it? Yeah. But yeah, Kyle, I, I considered using using the potion, but like anything other than the superior wouldn't have had any effect on the yeah. attack. So until that was gone, that was yeah. <laughs> uh, that's fair. 
All right. Well, chat, thank you again for joining us. We'll be back next Friday with some Descent into Avernus with all that fun stuff. So join us then. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye.